opportunity to become our own. Tēnā rā tātou e te motu whānui, Aotearoa whānui, nau mai e ngā iwi ki tēnei o ngā kēmu whakahirahira i te wānei, a ko ngā whainara hoki, ko wai ngā tīmai e tuatū nei, a ko rangi toto e tata atu ki te kāmera, a ko Christchurch Girls tērā, ke tau atu taha, a nau mai e hoki mai ki tēnei o ngā rā, hau e te hīkaka hoki, nau nānei ko hotu au ki a Dave, hei kōrero. Thank you very much there, Pakaheo Short. Great to be with you. Dave Worsley here with, I said, uh, Pakaheo Short. He's going to be joining me, fluent in Te Reo as well, and lover of volleyball. This is the New Zealand Secondary Schools Volleyball Championships here at Palmerston North. It is the Central Energy Trust Arena. We've had 21 courts going. In fact, we've still got another two courts going. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> the playoff matches continue. Uh, in fact, out the back as well, uh, 21 courts throughout all of Palmerston North, including Massey University as well. 198 teams. 198 teams for Kaiho. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, that is so many, so many students. You know, you have to also give thanks to the coaches, to the players, to our subs, our liberos. It all, it all connects, it all adds up. Tenui hoki o tangata, so many people. And, uh, of course, all the volunteers around uh, the venue and uh, Volleyball New Zealand, Volleyball Manawatu, Sport Manawatu, and of course our sponsors, we have Apollo Projects, we have New Zealand Carbon Farming, Baileys and Caltex as well. And great to be here on this network as well. I heard our hooky, I te pirini o te mihinui ki a whakata Māori, a ki a Māori TV hooky. A ki a koutou e tāna te mātaki ki te kāinga. Those of you who can watch now join in at home, our girls are now being ready on the side of the court here. Well, we're pretty hyped. Well, the players are hyped. The crowd will be hyped as well. Oh, definitely. And uh, you can probably see some of the crowd in the uh, big stand that'll be filling up even more as we're about to get underway but just remember that there are a number of other games continuing I, I think we should look at the referees because they're walking out on court and our first referee Melita uh, Leota from Wellington and our second referee uh, Lafoa James Afala also from Wellington, so great to have the internationals because there you go, you see them there. Oh, Brady Nicholson, no, sorry, we've had a change there. So okay. it's actually Brady Nicholson, according to, well, we'll get this updated just exactly who is that second ref. Make sure we've got that uh, correct because uh, the referees played an important part for the early days, and we say days, <laughs> been here for five days. It has been such a long week. Our refs here will manage since they are up there in their game, they understand every inch of the course. Well, Pakao, let's go through. You'll probably hear the players been introduced there, but we'll go through them anyway. From the top to the bottom of Christchurch girls, uh, number one, Alice Newman. Number two, Helen Woods. Lily Spark uh, will be the captain. Joanna McCaskill, number four. Uh, Collins will be there. Eliana Collins, number six, will have... Uh, who's at number seven there uh, for Christchurch girls? Number seven, Karen Roll, will be Miss Lolala. And then number eight being Kate. Top of line being Brooke Smith, also a libero slash scrapper, you know, a picker upper. And then number 11 moving down is Connor Bunny Low. Number 12 being Isidora Diaz Aguere. And also number 14 being Desire Manu Mataese. Okay, and the coaches uh, listed as Mark Norton. Assistant coaches uh, Matt Billsby and also Chris Phillips. Let's have a look at uh, Rangatoto College, biggest school in New Zealand, uh, about 3,200 students. And we've just seen running onto the court. And running onto the court, they were just seen 
uh, Kalia Norton. And uh, Kalia Norton is number six New Zealand under 20s player. And, uh, Our girls are now setting up their positions here, getting ready for a big finals game on our last day at Palmerston North. Well, let's go through the numbers and the players, the, the full team list. Uh, right. We've got number one, uh, Taylor Braddock. Two, uh, Kaleo Anderson. Three, make that number four, Alice Bell. Natalie Campbell at five. Kalia Norton, the captain, at six. And uh, Nawaya Simpkins. Nawaya Simpkins. I as El Libero for number seven. Number nine will be Jasmine Rugg, as well as number ten, Tiana Trivasa. Yeah, she'll be one of the tall players. She's just right. actually gone to the subs for the moment. Uh, full sub list. Who else have we got there? Kaiho. Okay, number 15 will be Flora Gardu, I believe. And then number 17 being Graham Mueller. Number 19 being Devin Goloboski. And we know she's a decent player aye, as well. I can't wait the Manaki data. 24 being Jazaria Holmes. She'll be doing a lot of serving for Vangatara. In the meantime, the first point. And you can see how hyped up the players are already. The a shot just going to net. We have in the near court. So you can see in the purple and uh, about to serve Alice Bell. So in the near quarter is Rangototo College. They're in the purple, you might want to call it, uh, North Harbour. And in the far end, white tops. Look at that powerful yeah, shot coming down. Uh, number six, boy, Hukitera for Eliana Collins. What a lovely hit down the line. She will now be going up to serve for our girls at Christchurch. So Christchurch girls against uh, Rangatoto. Rangatoto defending champions in both the Indeed. Division 1 boys and, and girls. And girls. Oh, well, they've got some pretty decent coaches, I can tell you that. Adam Watson, the coach for the girls in there. Oh, oh, a little yeah. bit of a joust, wasn't it? It was a net touch there by our girls at Christchurch, giving it to Rangitoto Goloboski, number 19, for the serve. Now, we saw her in the beach volleyball, probably in the semi-finals. I think she might have made it, or certainly going through a few yes, rounds. definitely. Lovely serve there. Well, almost a bit of a clash, unfortunate. Our girls won't be discouraged. Keep the play. Just uh, perhaps a little bit of nerves. There's a lot of people here. There's right. a bit of pressure on. Now, it doesn't matter who you are. Uh, you know, oh. you're a secondary school student. And oh. someone is saying, come on, you've got to win this for your school, for your honour, for yourself. I thought it was a quarter. The new hooky on our tongue. There was definitely a lot of faces in the stadium. And what a beautiful serve there by Goloboski. Now managing a bit of a lead here at the beginning of our first set. Now you can see Norton there in number six. She will organise the Rangatoro side. You just watch how everybody looks for her. In fact, after one of the earlier games throughout uh, the week, she was walking off the court and everybody, male and female, was looking to her. Like she had this leadership quality, people knew how good she was. Right, right. We are shot. Beautiful down in between the blocks there. Managed to find the gap. And that will be a chance ball here, perhaps. And it just came back at her. And almost dropped on her shoulder. I'll give Goloboski yet another chance to serve. What is the serve? See number 15 there, Gaval, big outstretched reach. The net is indeed hit there. So only the second opportunity that uh, Christchurch have had to actually serve, isn't it? it yes, is. this is indeed the second serve, and it will be done by Miss Isidora Diaz Aguere. Right, you can hear Spanish pretty good. I see, see, muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> from the centre of the court. Look at that curved run up. It's a nice serve though. Beautiful hit there coming off the block. Kaputakibaho. Well done. That's a tip it over. Right, and it will be a pipe. And it will land. And Collins taking that one strong in the air. So what we're going to watch out for is who is giving the call. You see that Norton, they'll just know when she's coming through. Uh, who's going to do the call? Is it going to be Collins who's going to come through and take most of the big shots there for Christchurch? Uh, I just love this curved run. Definitely a confidence serve she has. 
as you can see, it is leaning more towards the outer side of the court and not in the middle, meaning she is confident at her skill of serving. Still going. Let's keep the ball alive. And... Okay, Wanganui slams it off the block, picks it up. Tips it over, well done. It is Miss Simpkins. Yep, there you go, Norton. It's wide. It's out, no touch on the block there. And keeping in touch. Beautiful replays we get going on in these finals. Christchurch girls come back a little bit after really pushed hard in that uh, first few points. Right. Nagatoto taking the initiative. Good so picked up by Ngawai. Outside. Rug. And I believe that was hit at the antenna at first, perhaps? Yeah. All right. It's a bit hard to see the antenna, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but well, the, uh, right, if you to touch play. the antenna, then it's out. All right. We are at the Piro Kuangaro. That is the point lost. Akwere gets another chance to serve. Down the middle this time, picked up quite well. A couple of you know, errors there from uh, Norton. I mean, but she's got to put the pressure on. It's early stages as well. She's also showing to Christy, so hey, I am going to either target down the line, it was just out, or I'm going to go deep, it was right. just out again. She's definitely confident in both ways of hitting. Aguirre to serve. Floating. And we'll go, be sent outside. Tips it over. Rug. And there we go. She's uh, got a bit of height on her rug there, and she's confident enough to actually either go for the big strike oh, or just tape it down. And who's just coming in? Our number 10 being Miss Tui Vasa. So this is uh, Jasmine Holmes coming on. She'll be doing a lot of serving. She generally gets brought on for serving. Rangatoto in the near court, Christchurch girls in the far court, and that stands getting packed. Oh. There you go, it only took them to take the little errors that they can. Everybody took a step back from the ball there, mm -hmm. expecting someone else to hit it. It gets in that situation sometimes, especially at the beginning of a game, everyone's still getting in their feels, trying yeah. to understand what's going on. It looks as though St. Margaret's and Carmo have finished their playoffs because I can see in the Where's Wally shirts in the back, that's uh, St. Margaret's out of uh, Christchurch. And just looking for a bit of calling there. Both teams, early stages still. Mm. Seven each, plenty of time. No side really taking the authority yet. There was a first five or so points going to Rangatoto, but the first five points don't necessarily mean that much. Aye. Everybody's trying to feel their way. It's a final. Up, Norton. Okay, comes off the block, tips it over to an empty corner, and that will do it. You see what Norton did there, switched hands to a slightly weaker hand, left hand, and tried to go over. She saw the opportunity there. And yeah, she still managed. Yeah, pretty good skill, isn't it, <laughs> when you're up there? And she's coming back for the serve. Let's see her serve. She's right back by the signage. When she was warming up, she was doing a bit of our top spins. Here we go. Oh, That's a solid key. serve. Aye. Okay, Waho tips it over, and Norton's there. She's everywhere. <laughs> Indeed. Rag. And that'll do it. So, to my mind, there's Norton who can play anywhere. Right. Rag will usually play on the left. You've got Tuavasi, number 10, in the middle. And uh, Gaboski, Gaboski you... being number 19 up here. Yeah, so she can play there as well. So they've got a good... Oh, the Beautiful uh, ace serve there. That was almost a spike that she was trying to do earlier on, wasn't it? That is definitely the power of Miss Norton here. Yeah, she's, she's confident. She's a New Zealand player at age group level, way above her age. <laughs> Bit of a squeal. I don't know whether it was trying to avoid it. <laughs> it was coming at her at fast pace. And she managed to just get out of the way. That's uh, Helen Woods. Now, Captain from Christchurch girls, Lily Spark. Hey, Kaitonui te poro. She wish to see her service action here. Is she floating it or is she going to power it through? A bit of a spin on it. Yeah. We'll be sent to Goloboski. Good oh. shot out. <laughs> Three of them down on their knees. At least they managed with the libero and to get ahead of our pipe, Goloboski there. See, normally 
using a lot of attackers, you leave the back end. So empty. why, just explain to people who don't perhaps know volleyball so well, the two players on each side, which are generally in a different color uniform. All right. So they are indeed our liberos or scrappers, you could say. <laughs> and that's, a, that's the term. <laughs> no, I, they are definitely our defense, our main defense specialist. Now their point is indeed to keep the ball up from the ground. That's in. That was a great shot. Again, number six there coming in. Collins. Yeah, so that, that's their sort of job, and that's the reason for the different colored uniform? that they can be identified, I guess. Yes, definitely, identification. And due to them having their specific role, yep. at Fayana Tewa, they are able to switch in and out of the court, unlike substitution. Right. It is a different rule with them. All right, great stuff. There you go. Informing us there, Pakayo short, up, rug. And to pick it up. Modi Oro on the back as a pipe. And good to play. Now only talk to him with a one-point lead. It's been Niki Niki Tene Onga Kemu. So... Interesting point to be the first team to actually call a timeout and the coaches just will the coaches be saying settle down into your patterns just settle down into what we've been talking about at training what Aye. you've done all week Aye. off the block picks it up Miss Rug so well played there by Christchurch who kept it nice and kept the score even Stevens I think it will be a game like this throughout the entire game, really. And uh, serving now, we've got uh, Connor Banalau. Outside to Golubowski. Bounce off the net there. And it was indeed a double touch called from the set. A couple of substitutions I did coming in. Libero will be coming out. So we've got... Holmes coming off and number 15 coming on. Bell. So let's just have a look now and serving. Who we got serving? Taylor Braddock's on. All right. The portal. Oh, a little bit wild there on the set. Ngari Kangana. Kangana Pai. Helen Woods, the lefty. Now I've noticed Erua. There are two hitters from the left side. Two left hand hitters, rather. And that one being Helen Woods, number two, and also Kate Curie. Lovely serve to Goloboski. And it will be short, and that will give Christchurch girls the lead here. Over to Kuriye. Te tata hoki o ngā piro i tēnei o ngā kemu te whainara. Very close games happening. Very close indeed. Uh, right. Still early stages. Right. Still the first it's, it's generally, to my mind, when someone starts taking a little bit of a lead at 16, then of course, once you get into the 20s, that's powerful. Yeah, the yeah. angle that she was almost in the uh, referee's chair helping her out. Kwera hoki te kaha o Kolobowski. That is her strength, though. She's managing to hit three blockers in a few of our previous games. Ha te kaha hoki o Tago Kotsiro. Here at the CET Arena in Palmerston North, busy week for Palmerston North, around about 1,800 students coming in. Miss Bell with the serve there. Pick up by Rugg. Norton still manages to hit it over. So, yeah. Ricochets up into the crowd, nice catch. But, uh, the ability to have the left-hander who can switch from she was on the left side for a while now she then she moved over to the right our, our right uh, her left and uh, yeah, she's got kind of a roving role in many yes, ways definitely miss collins picked up nice and high out to norton then we'll break through then she pick it up there and there we go keeps it up and alive norton on the other side hung on now See how Norton was previously on the right-hand side, then switched across it's to the over, left? Yep. So I guess that's just the tactic. They're confident on either side. But able to look away there, and you can see the shot on the replay. <laughs> it comes off about two different blockers. Play for Goloboski Tene. Hates to the portal. Too bad. Long. Hit the play. It's not a real issue at the moment. We're early stages still. You also want to show your opponents that you can put it deep, or you're going to put it deep. There you go, spinning the ball. Good globe trotter. Basketballer. 
Aguere. Taps it up. Norton. Smashes through the gap of the antenna and our blocker there. That's uh, great accuracy. She made that small gap. Here we go. Look at that. Great to so see the replay. as well. The Terehoki of Tawapatsu. Right, it is Tuivasa coming in once again, as well as our server, Miss Holmes. Holmes goes straight to the back. Bit of pressure when you come straight on. People say, serve, don't muck it up. <laughs> this is your chance. Really getting pretty warm here, Palmas North, and warm inside the arena. Rawehuki Tawa Tuku. We go, there will now be a chance ball here. Managed to pick it up just on the further side of the court. Alpai Golubowski puts it through to Kimmelton. Tips it over. Yeah. Ball is kept alive. Beautiful. Golubowski there. Managed to dig that quite nicely. Got going on here at the Fano. That's in. That'll be it. They just looked at each other. Uh, Holmes and uh, also Kalabowski. I follow Hukina Koro Tokuhai Muara Kotaiki Tono Ingwa. He speaks truly about our girls from Christchurch. Definitely strong. They're keeping the ball up and alive. That was a superb shot from Norton. Just looking as uh, the Christchurch girls there try their best to keep that one in. It's Norton now with the serve. She'll go right back. She's going to top it. Now she, we've seen it go straight down the line for an ace. We've seen it go cross court as well. What's she going to do on this one? Okay, it goes down the middle. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> gets the ace. Just at the end of the court there. But she does put that indecision into the opposition. They know that she can go to the left. She's done that. They've got the ace to the right. Now she aces it down the middle. Aye, what are you going to think when she does it again here? Definitely an arsenal that she has there. So, you crush it. What are you thinking? We'll just watch her there with the ball. Throws it up high. Goes up. We've managed to pick that one up. We'll be sent outside. Oh, oh well Look done. Good hands. reflexes there. We go through the block. Christchurch girls. It's out. Did they touch it? No touch has been called. Lodi ora kohoki atsu ano to kite rārangi tuku. Beautiful. That reaction from there managing to leave the ball. Yeah. To fly out of the court. <laughs> to get out of the way. And there we go. The first time out has been called. Interesting time. It's just two points in it. And uh, also, I think... Christchurch probably wanted to call it then because they know they had Norton on a good serve, serve and another point. Aye. Was she going to continue for a third or fourth point in a row and then extend out that lead and maybe hit the 20 mark? So we can see in front of us uh, on the screen there, well, we've got Christchurch there and the coach, Mark Norton. Don't think he's related to <laughs> the Norton <laughs> the on the opposition. On the side. Hopefully not. Yeah, and uh, just having a chat, players getting a drink, and here we go with Rangatoto. That's Adam Watson, a very good coach there. I mean, the coaches at Rangatoto are very good. We've got uh, Johan uh, Timmer for the boys, and Watson for the girls. And coming on now. I'm trying to read where she's going to go each time. I'm not <laughs> sure. I think if I was Christchurch, you wouldn't be able to figure it out half the time. You have to wait until the ball is hit. There Pretty you go. Tahu or top spin. Golubowski with a beautiful pickup. Watch the right. Norton. <laughs> Isn't it high? So, okay, I couldn't get that one for you. Ngarira koe he kai tono makai shuji tenewa. Coach uh, Adam Watson just coming up, having a little couple words on the quiet to Norton. But in the meantime, with the serve, who we got with the serve there? Brian? We have Miss Spark here, our captain. The Christchurch goes. Picked up by Golubowski. There will be a pipe. Solid hit, makes through the block though. And that is, so sorry, Miss Eliana Collins. 
Mauri Orikiaku Takahoki or Tola Patsui. What a strong hit she's got. Very strong. Getting back to the service line, Koyara Kumaspa. So we haven't really seen a weakness in either side just yet. And the boy's been very noisy in one of those playoff matches <laughs> on the outside court. Kolobowski yet again, beautiful defense. This rug. Makes it through the block there. This rug well done. So this is rug with the serve. She's usually got a pretty powerful flat serve. Let's see what she can do here. It's up. Straight down the middle. And we'll go on the opposite side. Oh, there's got a ball. Oh, so sorry, there's Miss Norton. Oh. Land out. With the shot. Aye. We know those back corners are always going to be freeish. Mm. People are going to move forward a little bit. And uh, running backwards to a ball is more difficult than running forward. Oh, definitely. I agree with you on that one. Here we go. Number 11 from Christchurch. And the Bosque is a bit off, unfortunately. But that would be Christchurch girls. The upper hand. At the moment. Timeout. And that is called by Rangi Toto. Oh, hooky. So Christchurch girls, the first team to 20. You have those little targets that you tick off as a, a coach or a player. You want to get to double figures. You want to get to that 20 first. Doesn't mean you won it. It's only one point in this at the present time, you can see. Christchurch girls, happy. Rangatoto in the foreground, the near court. Christchurch girls with the white at the top. Beautiful week of volleyball. A lot of people have been managing to play this beautiful sports here we call volleyball. Golubowski outside. Cuts through the block there. Will be a dump, but Norton is there. Back to Goloboski. Just couldn't get the angle downwards. Yeah. But she is showing that she could hit down the line or cross court. And substitute coming on for... Magatoto, is that number five coming on? Uh, number five coming on. Campbell. Aye. Yes, Campbell. For Miss Bell. Number eight, Kate Perry. For number 12. And who is coming on there for Christchurch? It is number eight, Kate Curry. With Aguirre heading to the sub box. Serve. Olivoski picks it up. Looking here for the set. Oh, take the power. And that will be a solid hit. It bounces off the defender, off the blocker. Adam Watson, the coach for Rangatoto, just stepping up, having a word with his players. It is a set point now for Christchurch girls. Rangatoto wants to stay in and they will show it. Well, it's just rolled over. Who's coming up for the shot? Oh, it takes the power off. This ready. Okay. Sams it off the block, manages to keep it up though. There we go. Get the fuck out of my arangi toto kare no komutsu. They are not quite finished with the first set right now. And more subs. It'll be Holmes coming on, I think. Or, you know, we're just in a, another turnover. So number one will be serving for arangi toto Taylor Braddock. And as it is still set point. First set. Well, first set point, second set point for Christchurch girls. And here is Braddock with the serve, number one for Rangatoto. Down the middle, low over the net. over the net. Up for the shot. Powerful hit, bad to get moves. Unfortunate miscommunication there will end our first set. Yeah, the first set there going to Christchurch girls. 25 to 20. And so they take the advantage. Um, yeah, they do. No one was really too sure then. We saw the scoreboard click over, but uh, Christchurch didn't. Oh, Itahu and Aikari and the Kenya Komitsu at this moment. I don't believe our game has finished. There we go. Now our Christchurch girls yeah. at set. Well, they're just checking with the referees there. I can see the coach 
Yeah, no, it's all good. That is definitely the first set. So the first one there going to a Christchurch. Bit of a mishap going on on our screen. Now being set point, no. No, oh, so how it's gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We had a bit of a technical issue there. Now Christchurch goes at 23, whilst Rani Toto at 20. Okay, so we've got that uh, sorted out now. That's why everybody was confused. We saw it as a win, then the players themselves were then called off. That's the key. Milton will get the second, almost with a clash. Back out. So Helen Woods with the big powerful shot. In line, eh? Kwa Faiwa, a Christchurch. Kita Piro Fakamutsunga Otene. Wahanga there now at set point. Christchurch girls. Rangi Toto sitting at 20. So picked up by Goloboski. Beautifully done right to our setter, Miss Norton. Out far. Come off the block there. Rug picks it up. Norton puts it over. Goloboski slams it down. Well done. We are at the Kaha. Doing a bit of a substitution here for Christchurch. It is number seven coming up. Seven? Oh, number eight is coming out and number 12, Aguere. Number coming back in. 12, yeah, number 12 coming up. And in the meantime, number five, it is Campbell. For Rangotoro. Beautiful serve there. Coming back for a pipe. Hereda Simpkins. Outside Goloboski. Good job picking that up. Now will be a chance ball perhaps. Goloboski, beautiful pick, pick up. up. Gil slams it down there, ending the set there. Wait for it. This time it looks to be this first set. And we are waiting for it. It has been confirmed this time. 25 to 21. Christchurch girls are taking out the first. And a real tight affair. Like a total, just not able to come back with the power of Christchurch girls. Really a key to that extent. So taking out the first set of this Division 1 girls final. Christchurch girls high against Rangatoto College. for our clients since 1973. And go! Just fill up at a participating Caltex, stack your pump discounts, and you could collect more savings on your next visit. Oh, there's another one. Getting quite good at this. Ah, filling and saving. Feels good. Forest should never have been taken off the whole country that's eroding, and it makes absolute a forest those hills. What we're doing here is using the exotics to help that process get established. We're looking at a managed transition process where those pines are progressively thinned and native understory establishes. We're trying to do several things here. Soak up cut, establish native forest, and we're trying to improve biodiversity. You're achieving an awful lot with one program of activity. Ako rangi toto ke taua atu taha o tenetsi, ako Christchurch girls ki tenei taha. Ite wahanga tuatahi, kei 
arangi toto te rua te kaumatahi ngā piro a ko Christchurch rua te kaumarima a i toa ai a Christchurch girls i te wahanga tuatahi. What an exciting first set that was, particularly since we thought it was over <laughs> once oh, yes. or twice. Bit of a technical difficulty there, right, Dave? <laughs> yeah, well, the score went to 25. The players kind of thought they'd won, but weren't too sure about it. And, uh, yeah, that's just what happens. Uh, a lot of tension. And uh, then the players made their way off then back on again. The score was actually 23 rather than 25. Right. But in the end, uh, it was a very good effort from uh, Christchurch. We'll just say that uh, Christchurch in the white and blue or black. Bangatoto in the maroon in the far end of the court. Right. Now we did see our girls in Christchurch managed to take the first set there, even just barely, against Rangitoto. Alice Newman with the serve for Christchurch. Picked up by Golovoski there. Sends it back out to her. Slams it down. Beautiful defense by Christchurch. It will be a pipe. And that is the work of Simpkins. Off the block there, well done, Golovoski. Just slam it through the gap there. Bit of a rally we have going on there and there. And uh, pretty hyped up there, Collins. She's uh, really performed well so far. She's got the height, she's got the energy and the aggression. Now, just got to remember though that if Rangatoto do get down, they came back a huge win against, I think it was against St. Margaret's uh, or St. Andrew's, sorry, uh, in their semi final. In fact, both Rangatoto's schools did that, or teams did that. There's a big shot. Very well known for it, they are making a good comeback there. Slipping the gonna out. Oh, nice little lead. Three points to a start the second set after taking the first for Christchurch girls. It is number one there from Christchurch being Alice Newman. And I see. Goloboski managed to pick up such good digs. Norman with the first touch. Milton, sorry. That one gone, it's out, no touches along the way. So a clear point for them. For Christchurch girls. Nice way to start. Alice Newman has the ball in hand. She will be serving. Pretty solid serve so far anyway. Without driving it through, no no has to go down. Kolobowski from the outside. Norton with a cross. Very rare. Justin tabs the net, goes over the uh, diving arms there of the Christchurch player and drops in. Who's the serving? That should be Bell. Alice Bell. We've got a couple of Alice's, one on each side. <laughs> went to go around the blockers and went right around them, almost out the gate. Going to set out the stadium in a moment. Yeah. And pretty busy and getting pretty warm in the stadium as well. Aye, aye. Te hoki o A lot of people packing up our seats. Alice Bell. Watch for the set here. Here's number two coming through. Lefty. Shut right down by two Tuvasa. Now that'll take a bit of confidence or give a bit of confidence to Rangatoto. Have we got the block? And yeah, just fires off. A, a big block, a winning block, gives you so much confidence as a team, doesn't it? Definitely. Definitely something that made me wow. It's a wow factor yeah. for my and my past team. That's about the first service area. Era that we've seen in this, the second set. We've only seen a couple in the first. I think it was actually Norton who had one to the side and one up wide yeah, or one yes. up the back. Teratsutaha was on the other side of the court, rather, this yeah. being the first net one. Oh, well, <laughs> as we say as it, we okay. Right. <laughs> Don't listen to us. <laughs> you will make a mistake. But it's, again, early on, no team's... In reality, you're going to run off with the score right now. Who have we got serving there, uh, Kaihel? Oh, Miss Golubowski-Tera. Strong serve down the line. 
And there you go, that'll do it. Give her another chance to serve Miss Golubowski. Tying our girls now, five to five. And you can see just the height there as the girls are all together. Uh, Tuivasa, arguably the tallest player for Rangatoto. Oh, very tall. Golubowski, here we go down the line yet again. Four quick. <laughs> well, almost safe. She's like, no, I didn't really touch the net. Not at all. Uh, no one saw that. She did. <laughs> Just a couple of changes there. Five coming off for Christchurch. Uh, there is another 11 Aguirre. coming on. Aguirre with some more tricks before serving. Really starts out to the left and then comes in centre. Get up by Ngawai Subkins. Outside to Norton. We'll bounce it off the block. You heard the call there. Uh, it was either a leave or a me initially. That is the power of communication on our courts, especially in these later games. To Avasa. Uh, to Avasa coming off there. And we've seen some interesting costumes throughout the five days. Mm -hmm. A few mascots as well, and they keep on arriving. Oh, just in Keeps the crowd. Alive in lands, the crowd, though. Lands on someone's lap. Outside to Norton. Yeah, Norton going backwards. It's going to be hard to recover. Norton, oh, oh, there we yeah. go. Yeah. Flying through the air and trying to adjust the shot. Here it is in the replay. And uh, did well to get to it, but just <laughs> yeah, trying to get the timing right to that oh, sort of shot. Out of reach, Kireira. Who's our server here? And that was indeed Miss Braddock. Out back. Picked up beautifully. In the middle. Just here. Lovely low pass there. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that one. Uh, Lau. Even with a stutter jump, she still managed to get up there and hit it quite well. Number two here, Helen Woods, the left-handed serve. Let's see the, any deviation of that uh, left hand. Uh, here she goes. The serve, no, pretty straightforward. And with the left hand, there is a bit of a rotation difference with the hits. From right hand to left hand, there is a little bit difference from that spin. But So we'll see again. She's got a fairly simple action at the yes. moment. Drops quite low. Over the net, that's rug. There you go, it is a bit short, giving our girls from Rangitoto the point there. Yeah, Collins couldn't quite get the timing right, and it was sort of like, do I want it to fall short or do I want it to go deep? And in the middle was, well, she went in the middle, in yeah. the net. Akoya Rakumas Norton, he Drives it through. There we go, lovely top spin there. Goloboski manages. Okay, tips it over. Simpkins taking that one. Simpkins it again. And the call is a double touch. A double, really? Quite hard to see it on this angle. We may not see it on any replay either, but uh, the first referee there looking straight down on it. Definitely there might be a noise difference down there since us up here, you know, we have our headphones. See Norton up close there. That was it. There that was it. Drops in. <laughs> the core wolves leave it, or hopefully leave it. There's a beautiful arc to it too. The spin, allowing the ball to drop just outside, just inside at the edge of the ball. Oh my. Two point advantage. They had this in the first set as well. They had a couple of points advantage, and then it just crept away from them. Oh, that was going to land in. Almost Timeout. Yeah, there we go. That's the same kind of timeout as in the first set as well. When Norton's serving, they start to get a couple points away. Timeout. Time out. Try and disrupt the rhythm. Aye. And let's have a look at the coaches there. You can see Mark Norton, the coach. Just not getting too heated up, just pointing out a couple of things. You don't want to say too much. Meanwhile, we have Adam Watson for Rangatoto, but you can't see him. He's not as tall as some of the players. <laughs> and there's some of the crowd and Block B. Hi. So a lot of people here. Hi. Still coming in as well. In fact, one of the uh, teams is still doing its warm down from court four. 
I'm not sure about the courts out the back. And more and more players are coming in. The great thing about secondary school sport is they do stick around as much as they can to watch, even though it might not be anything to do with their team. Right. That top spin serve, that's up high. Back. And it lands on the Christchurch girls' side of the net. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's the hard to tell. Oh, right. both, both teams would, you couldn't do much with it either team. We both had that silent reaction for the, <laughs> yeah. for the 0.5 seconds there. The young up here, Tene Morton. Just pushes a bit far and almost apologizes to her teammates. Well, you've done okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, sorry about getting these just four, four points here. Well, the sparks coming back. She's their captain for Christchurch Girls High School. It over, still keeps the ball alive. Well done, Simpkins, and it lands outside the court. So the biggest margin that they had was actually three points there, Rangatoro. It looks to be three points was the lead. Cut back to two now. Rug. Did it come off someone? No, no they're, they're asking for it. Here we go. Let's uh, might have them on I'm not sure. No, they asked and got told no. Well, maybe they did. Yes, they did manage to get it. Yeah. Okay, so there was a touch at the net there. Maybe I'll go from Christchurch. Wow. That's a bit of a vital point. Yeah. Jasmine Rugg with the serve. A pretty solid serve most of the time. There we go. Beautiful float. A bit of a wobble there in yeah. the air. Over the block. Hey, Ada Agawai. Norton. Kiwaho. Goloboski. Half by chance ball here. Let's see what they can do to punish. Across the net. Keeps the ball alive. <laughs> Rolled along the net. Go again. Keeps the ball alive. Crush those girls. Well done. Oh, why? Oh, we're hooky. Light it up again. Oh, that was oh, good play. Okay, go. Nice subtle play, but the coach for Christchurch, Norton, wasn't happy with a call halfway through. Here we go. He was saying, just watch out for something. And you know, everything seems to be okay, but certainly the coach is having a little bit of an influence in there. Go for another shot. Four points. The lead. Keeps the ball up. Oh, that rolls along the oh, net. <laughs> you take it when you can. It went the other way earlier on the rally. Earlier on the point. Vandalau ready with the serve from the back left. Simpkins down the Stop. middle. Let's keep the ball alive. Oh. Some of the first touch there. <laughs> yeah, the communication wasn't quite there. It's a slightly different plan to normal. Uh, Norton put it back in the middle. And maybe expecting something different. It didn't quite work out. Just the positional play here. Three up the front for Rangatoto. Outside the other way. Sets. What a beautiful set. Oh, oh the unfortunately, the carry. Let's see here. See anything? Yeah, oh, the carry. See. The back set there. Picked up the ball just a little bit. Okay. Calling it a bit of a carry. Money low. Tough call. It's a bit short, but still manages. Well done, Norton. Popeye Goloboski read that well. Sends it down the middle and gives oh. us a gift. Could have caught that one. 
bit of a gift for us up here. What I'm impressed with is that a player such as Norton is able to actually, sounds harsh, but trust Natalie Campbell with the big shot. Oh, she's yeah. obviously younger in the team. You can see her there, number three. And uh, she's saying, you take the shot. I've been taking a few of these. Let's switch it around a little bit so they don't know who's going to take it all the time. Of course, the first set was 25-21 to Christchurch girls. This is uh, Holmes coming on. Feel the power on that one. I think we could hear it. I don't know why I can't do it. My boy, who can't do it? Is Miss Alice Newman. It was a four-point advantage at one stage. It's been chipped away. Middle of the second set. Fuck it, Tatana. Two, two in a row. The co Mari, my the co Mari, we my it in a wa. Jonas Newman, Rangatoto have uh, struggled in a way to actually make the final. They've had to fight and scrap their way to the final. Right. It's been pretty tough. Hasn't been straightforward, despite being what would be the number one seeds and defending champions. That goes for the guys and the girls. A couple of dramatic semi-finals. In fact, from quarterfinals on, it was pretty right. big. A lot of teams have began and managed to you know, rise above. Yeah. Bit of a challenge here for all teams, in fact. Well, even yesterday, when we did have uh, the big semi-final Hillcrest against the Rangatoto boys, big crowd came in and they were chanting against Rangatoto. <laughs> it's not they don't like them so much, it's just they wanted someone else to really make it through the final. Aye. Miss Newman, hey, kaitono i Miss Newman for the serve. It's it up, lovely. Norton with one hand set. That's good blocking. They were able to hang in the air and stay there and put up such a wall. Christchurch, a bit of a tall team there, Christchurch. Look at that score line. It's reversed around now. The uh, four point buffer, well, it's changed around completely as uh, so Christchurch girls go into the lead. And. <laughs> I seem to put the uh, curse on anybody at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> Just me, it is a commentator's curse, yeah. Yeah, calling out a serve or a play. Yep. We, sh we, we shouldn't. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have no power, we believe us. Uh, well, let's have a look now at the number five there. This is uh, Natalie Campbell. Quite a difficult serve because it faded so much. That's good there you block. Go. Outside there, Golubowski. Sames it down. And there was a nip off the block there, causing Rangitoto there. Let's see that replay. Take a look. There you go. Solid hit there. Managed to tip it off the block and break through. Koyarate, Tepatsukaha, or Golaboski. Been saying this a lot, but she's definitely got a swing on her. Just when you look at the players, yes, we've got. Uh, oh, mistake. I didn't say anything this time. <laughs> we do have. Players from the age of 13, 14 through until 18 throughout the tournament. They are secondary school students. can be very proud of representing their schools. It's about growing as a person as well as being an athlete as well. This could be the highlight of their sporting career perhaps. For someone like maybe uh, Leah Norton. This, she's already in a New Zealand junior team just along there. So she potentially has a lot more that she can do. Aye. But for others, this might be it, but what a great atmosphere, what a great tournament. Great experience indeed, I. As we said, 198 teams, 103 girls and uh, 95 boys. Okay, here, K1 Nui Pua, aye. She got it. Oh, wait, well, Simpkins, here we go, beautiful. Sends oh. it off the ball. You, you saw that deviate completely, just about a different direction, here it goes. So we play. And just comes off the blocker, comes off uh, Helen Woods, and it's too difficult to get. So Rangatoto have now crept in front. It's been like this for a bit of our game in the first set as well. It's a nice serve down the line. Oh, oh good block. Norton had it there. Let's see that. 
So for you, uh, Pakaiho, uh, you're in a kirikiri role now, Hamilton. You uh, got to get in back into volleyball yourself. I my tene wiki nunui tene wiki pai. Definitely after this amazing week, I need to get back into this beautiful sport. It's in. It's in. Duck and under it, just when you think it's going to be out. Well done, Miss Aguere. Volleyball, isn't it? It just fades, drops. <laughs> definitely, so definitely. Feeling a bit frustrated about that one. Tying it up now, 19-19. Aguere, he kaitono i te pōro. Kolobowski pulls it. North, the shot. And that'll do it. It was almost a touch. She's pulling her arms out the way. <laughs> Saying almost a touch, maybe it was a touch. Managed to hit off our receiver here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a pretty tough one to get out of the way because it's so powerful. In the meantime, Taylor Braddock comes on for the serve. So that was a bit of a, uh, I wouldn't say luck, but it was good management perhaps for Norton to take that and get the uh, shot. So it takes him up to 20. And Comes off. The antenna. Yeah. A couple of, I wouldn't call them lucky, but a couple of fortunate points now for right. Rangitoto. You've got to take them when you can. The Mahahoki on the Hapai Fai Maya Christchurch girls. A lot of mishaps happening with the sub serves. Rangitoto, sorry. Bit of momentum to build up on. Two point lead. We sent down the middle. <laughs> Beautiful hit there. Kua Hukitera from Miss Vanilo, number 11. And uh, Lily Sparks dancing around. <laughs> You'd think they'd won the tournament, but no, that was just one point. <laughs> happy with girls. that one. Uh, Ranga Kotsiro. Very encouraging. Very happy to be here. Helen Woods, the left hand now. Some pins. Puts it for Norton. She'll just aim it down. down. Almost went up for it again. Oh. Other way. Tips it over this time. Out. Mori Ora. Ako who gets the Poro Kitera on Ataha or Rangitoto. Back to Rangitoto now with a two point lead. You feeling the nerves there, Pakaha? Oh, definitely. That's why. You're not even playing, but you're feeling nervous yet? Oh my gosh. Kapere nga Wakatua happens all the time with these games, especially in the later end of these sets. Miss Norton especially serving. Goes down the line. Mm, just out. She was pushing it down the line. She can go anywhere. She's had an ace at the other end. She went down the line, then she went down the middle. Pretty much anywhere she can serve, but it's a matter of just how hard do you push it. Now, she competes well at the senior level. Like She can play senior volleyball competitions. Uh, she's not out of her depth as well. So... Uh, Quite interesting to see someone who can do that, but uh, the pressure is on her. And in the meantime, Lily Sparks with the serve, the captain for Christchurch girls. Golubowski sends it nice and high. Miss Rugg, swing it off the block there. Well done, reaching 23. Just a point away here from uh, set point. What are we picking, five setter? Because <laughs> it just wouldn't seem wouldn't <laughs> seem right if it didn't go five sets. Yes, I agree. It's definitely going to be. Our timeout has been called by Christchurch girls. Now, I do have a flight tonight, so thank goodness it's not advantage. <laughs> but, yeah. Maybe we, we should bring it in just for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep going until someone wins by two or something like that. I'm sure that was the case quite a few years ago. And in the meantime, you can see that is an Toto there. Watson, just plenty of attention being paid. No one else talking. Now they come in with oh, yeah. hands in. In the meantime, Christchurch girls, the white top and uh, the darker blue or black, they are on. I quit a hook at the corridor. Put the corridor to Kai or Terangatira. So these girls are just listening in, making sure they can get whatever information they can from this time out. See how they can manage. Now, I've seen a wheelchair being taken across one of the uh, outside courts. I hope everybody's okay. We've seen a few people on crutches. Injuries. Beautiful serve. We sent out. Comes off the block, and there we go. Now Rangi Toto sitting comfortably at match point. At set point. Set we won't point. give them the, the match yeah, just yet. Karano Kotai to Kita Mitsunga. Still just on our second set here. Yeah, they'd certainly be happy if it was match point. It's not. <laughs> Way to go yet. Miss Rugg. 
Put on my. We'll go outside again. Picked up by Simpkins. Golubowski slams it over the block there. And there we go. That will be our second set. Matene Kinu Koyara. Te wahanga tsuarua. Kei Arangi Toto. Rua te kauma rima ki Arangi Toto. Rua te kauma tahi ki Christchurch. So we're split at one set apiece. Uh, 25 at 21 Christchurch, the first set. And now reversing it around with Rangatoto taking the second. 25 21 will come back with the third set in just a moment. Funding is a real challenge. Uh, we know that a lot of schools face that ongoing and the reality is if you go to a lower DSI school in New Zealand you are less likely to be able to afford to participate in sport. Obviously having come through it myself with kids and, and being one of those kids myself who played sport, I know how much it defined who I was. And now being able to go, I can't fix it all but we can help and try and give to those people who are going through a really tough time. It's a real privilege, but you know, for us, we want to see others get involved with it. This is not a selfish thing for Apollo. This is about how can we get, um, whether it's construction or other businesses, to get involved in this. There's a lot of things that kids miss out on, and so to have businesses step up and want to be involved and to help is a game changer for schools. It really is. Hey. Sport is about more than just the game. It's about going from teammates to bests. It's the high fives and helping hands. That's why Caltex is proud to help fuel school sports. Summer Tournament 2024 on Maori Active. Find us on YouTube. <laughs> Kapa e te ui, e te motu mai hoki mai ki te wahanga tuatoru o tēnei kemu o te whainara ko rangitoto tatake ki te kamera a ko Christchurch Girls ki tau atu taha ko atu e kia Davey Naine. Thank you very much there by Kahal Short. One set apiece, the first going to Christchurch 25-21, the second, well they switched it around, Rangatoto 25-21. Well, for you Pakaiho, has there been anybody who's really stood out? I tene o ngā wā e tāna te kite Ian Orton, obviously, koiara te kōhine kaha mo tēnei kemu. Engari, kiau nei, Goloboski is definitely one to be a heavy hitter in this game. Starting off with the service idea, well done. So, for Christchurch, they've had a couple of uh, big, big players, the big hitters. Oh, uh, we've had Helen uh, Woods, the lefty there, haven't we? Aye. And also uh, Collins, they're the two that you'd expect to be doing all the... Big shot. I take the ball. Arakoya Hokiko Aguere being number 12. Also a great server. Oh. Girls keep it alive. It is still alive? No, it's not. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's an issue. They're just taking as many shots as they want. <laughs> Trying their best to get over the net there. Over there. Arika Hokimaiya, number four being. Alice Bell. And uh, this is Alice Bell here. Sometimes you can't quite see a number, but we know what she looks like because uh, her hair is hanging over the number four, but that's all good. Takes the left-handed serve. Oh, it's a nice and high school keeper the ball alive. Modi Oro, Miss Rugg. Miss Norton. She just looks over at her coach, and the coach is just shaking his head a little bit. You don't need to take everything, probably. Yeah, tip it over. You just see the... Uh, signaling that he had shook his head a little bit it's all right try and tip it over don't go for every shot solid serve there did you see that serve how it sort of faded away aye drew it to the right hand side and then <laughs> kept on uh, traveling down aye. i thought it was going to go straight here to goloboski managed to fade a little bit there to the left our left rather 
So, serving. Number one, Tene No Christchurch, Akuyarako, Miss Collins. Yep, just uh, shoulder coming down, probably took the eye off the ball slightly. The left shoulder sort of spun around a bit too much, but then uh, rotated it down. In the meantime, coming up for Rangatoto, it's Devin Koloboski. Slaps the ball down. The hitting hand through. Nice nice straight outside there. Golubowski will chase after it and will manage. Keeping the ball alive now, chance ball. How will the punish go? Miss Rug will slam it down, sends it too far to the side of the net. At that point there for Rangatoto, Simpkins was involved a couple of times. She uh, took the brunt of the first shot <laughs> and then uh, came in again. Yeah, when you're that little player, you end up getting knocked around quite a bit. <laughs> Straight serve, and it flies out. Modi or Golaboski, what a powerful serve. Hard to catch. Christchurch. That is number three, Lily Sparks, the captain, ready to receive it. Well, unfortunately, the Rangatoto boys team aren't in the crowd at the moment. They're preparing for their own final against Taronga. Picks it up well that time. Sends it out back. Oh, and that is the height. Two of us. Right there, picking up in the lead here. It's quite an early time out, isn't it? Oh, yes, indeed. But, you know, they are, fortunately for Rangi Toto, they are gaining a bit of a lead. And whatever you can do to stop that, you do what you must. And uh, Rangatoto College, you've got to remember the defending champs. It was uh, Watson there just pointed at Norton. There's plenty of other good players in that team, though. And coming back on for Rangatoto, we've got Tuavasa, we've got uh, so their rug as well, number nine, Norton, number six, seven. Well, that's Simpkins. Going back there for the serve, Goloboski will run through the team for Christchurch who are on at the moment, also for Rangatoto, number four, Alice Bell. But you know, the on-court team in just a moment for Christchurch. That one comes off a little bit off the palm. The spark was ready for it. The straight, there you go. Norton. Still going. Keeps the ball up and alive. Tips it over to Buster. Oh, we're the power of Hukio Tawakuhimi. Well enough there. Let's see that replay. Uh, that's a good play. And it's off the block, picks it up. Yet again, tips it over. Modi Ora. All right, just having a look now at that uh, Christchurch team. Quite hard to see the numbers sometimes. I can tell you that on court for Christchurch at the moment, we do have. Uh, oh, so we'll just wait for this point. Oh, gee, we're on top of that. And. Uh, that was a close call. I thought the ball in a kitana itawa. Kirihana pa, no, not being able to see the replay, unfortunately. Get the pie, get the pie. We're going to take the uh, flag man's uh, word for it. All right. We are Rako Golaboski, hey Kaitono. We've got uh, Alice Newman, also Helen Woods on court at the moment for Christchurch. That's Woods there. Set up to Ivasa. Sends it back out. Well done, Simpkins, keeping it alive. Rug. Break three. Back outside. There's a spark picked up by Goloboski. Oh, where to Kiriye? Did you see Rug just watch yes. that? <laughs> I don't know what she was going to do. Maybe flick it up with her foot or something like that. Yeah, she was just watching it drop. Also on court for Christchurch at the moment. Collins is there. Get the toughest to hide in our pedal. Rato Yorani to talk, barely getting over the net there, well done, outside. The spark slams it down, oh yeah. Koya Rate Kahao Terangatsira, Tetsima Okrashich, that is the power of a captain. Yeah, that was Sparks there, she got up. And now she's just done a fancy pitter patter high five with her teammate up the front. I forget how to do it. Well, who's our ball spinner as a server? It is Miss Aguere. Also at the front there is Vanilao. 
key blockers with their height. We see now side, Norton tips it over. That's what a coach asks for before. Mm. You don't need to go for the big shot. And he just did a little indication. Just go over. She has been doing a lot of solid hits. So switching to the little tip there. Mm -hmm. so, the job. Coach Adam Watson will be pleased. She listened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Top by two, Vasa now coming out. Well, indeed, Taylor Braddock now coming up to serve. Well done. Outside, no, just on the back as a pipe. Well done, girls, keeping the ball alive. That was crazy. They were going backwards at him. Great. Not a right. Oh, it's in. Yeah, no one's going to argue about that. Flagman was right there. Look at that six point lead, though. Oh, beautiful. Telling our Piro Kualiro here at Angitoto, bit of a lead they have gained. Sparks with the left handed serve goes up. No, stays on the ground on that one. There we go, picks it up with the one hand, now attacking. Now they'll go back to Miss Rugg. Which is a bit short. Closing in the gap here. Miss Woods. Hokimaiya, hey Kai Tomo. Always watching Watson there as the coach, doing the thumbs up pretty much at the end of what he oh, says Dan to Golubowski. his players. It's rug. Oh. <laughs> Hard one to get when it comes off the net and comes off the oh, nice. as well. There it is. And who's this coming to our sign? Okay, Norton. Was he the heading aces? Or the odd fault. Aye. Uh, previous time she was down here. That's the first net. I am not going to talk again when someone's serving. <laughs> Please. No, it's not our fault. <laughs> no, it's not. I have nothing to do with that, <laughs> but it just seems to occur. Number five coming up for number four there, Alice Bell. And there are these sparks to serve now. Picked up by Ngawai. Sends it close to the net. Outside. Sends it up and it will be a block out. Kakahoki with the Katsura. It's a good block by Anderson. It's worth a try because she's now shown that she's good enough to get up there and block. Even if the ball shot off to the side of that one. She's got the height. She right. can get up there. So from now on, they've got to think, okay, she's able to do this. Koyara Kuma Sparks, hey Kaitono. Picks it up by Rug, beautifully passed. Outside. There we go. Took it in the face almost, but it's back. How does he get it over? On? So uh, well recovered there from the Christchurch. <laughs> Took the full brunt of that. Right, still managing to. Bring it back up. <laughs> Gets a pat on the head, <laughs> taking the ball in your face. Well done. Strong head. Yeah, I think so. The spark, Kaitono Itaporo. It was Brooke Smith who took the blow. Here, Ngawai Norton will get the second touch. To be sent outside. And that'll be it for Christchurch, giving them yet another good block point there. Off the block, rather. Within two now on the scoreboard, and timeout call. All right, from Fakatatangia, Rataiga, Christchurch girls. There was indeed a five-point lead, was there, by Rangitoto? Yeah, five-point lead for Rangitoto, but Christchurch girls coming back. So the momentum swung around a little bit in favour, really, of Christchurch girls. But, uh, Rangatoto is still the two-point lead. There they are from behind there. You can see the players. Well, a few little puffs going on as well. It's been physical. There's a bit of intensity, of course. It's the grand final, Division One final of this, the New Zealand Secondary Schools Volleyball Championship here in Palmerston North. The boys' final, well, that'll be 5 p.m. or whenever this match concludes. Uh, that's going to feature Rangatoto, sorry, against uh, Tauranga. Not sure who we're favouring on that one either. Aye, to bring our quarter to Hikaka, Nga Tangata Irutone Tatriana, and Ari Mataki Mai Kitena Kimu Kahira Hira on court. 
Well, this is the one and only quarter now. Yeah. It's going to pull a quarter two. Picked up quite nicely. Norton will send it outside. And will be out. The last six points. Six points almost. Five points. A little bit tough there for Rangatoro. They've tried a few things. They haven't come off. They've just got to stay focused on what they do well. Picked up by Ngawai. Norton will chase. As we said, deep. Off That's the block there, Lodi Ora. She's been there trying to get that block. Gets a good shove from the teammate. Right. <laughs> right waiting for full bear. And that point alone, that block alone, will definitely do Rangi Tutu justice. Hopefully, <laughs> our commentating power doesn't affect the game. Well, Anderson has been up there for a couple of blocks and just hasn't quite worked out. That one, though, is uh, picture perfect. Outside there, Vanilo. Let's a fly. <laughs> Puts a hand over. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy, get the my Nama Iwa Desmond Rug. Te kaitono i te poro i wā. Right back to the boardings and comes up a little bit of a jump. Hard pick up there, keeps it. And there you go, that'll be it for Miss Rug. Those couple of points from the block and then from that serve, absolutely vital. Out to a four point lead now, but just the confidence it's going to give them for Rangatoro. Rug with the serve here. Kapai, our powers haven't worked just yet, which is good. And left. There we go. No touch at the block there. Modi Ora. Puts three still. points. Yes, but what a powerful hitter still from Christchurch. Number six being Miss Collins. Definitely has a swing on her. And another couple of teams coming in after finishing their game, showering up. Coming in to watch this final. Kapai, here we go again. Miss Collins breaks through the block this time. A little bit too tight. There it is, the replay. They tried this to bring it up, even with a foot. By Vanilo, Hekaitono, number 11 for the serve. It will be short, giving Rangitoto back the point they lost. Substitutions are, in fact, coming in. In fact, uh, three of them. We've got uh, Tovasa, we've got Holmes, and uh, we've also got uh, Braddock, by the looks of it. Let's oh, yeah. we'll do the serving. Brannick coming on, but we do have uh, Holmes and also two of us. So quite a bit of height now up the front. All right, definitely trying to strengthen their front line there, trying to get some good blocks going. Whatever the signal was, Norton saw it. Uh, I'm not sure if she's going to tell anybody else what it was. <laughs> Look outside. Block. Golovoski, well done. Well, to send it back to her. And that one there came off the net, I believe, hence the girls couldn't do much with the play. And one more. So Holmes comes on for one serve and then gets uh, subbed off. Not that she did anything too bad. Simpkins now on at number seven. Oh, pinch the formation. Christchurch one after each other. Back out. Off the block, lands out. Modi Ora. Yes, as you were talking about the defense of Christchurch girls, definitely huddled up together at the beginning. Substitution number four. Yes, more substitutions five, coming on and off for Rego Toto, number four. Coming on, and uh, Alice Bell will serve. She is a left hander here. Nice controlled serve most of the time. And she's got a bit of a <laughs> signal coming through. Yep, it worked. Oh, managed to get through the block just barely there. Tilvasa took the brunt of that one. Such a swing on Miss Collins there, number six, from Rangitoto. Managed to break through even Tuivasa herself. Simpkins so sets it, but it was coming pretty much at her face, awkward height, and just had to push it away from herself. I, you were... Uh, uh, the tiki na itawa poro, the few outs of kidding, it was pretty hard to pick it up. She managed, but it was quite short. 
giving Miss Collins to serve yet again. Coming back to three. And uh, frustrated with herself, Lily Sparks, the captain. It's back out to four again. A uh, little bit of uh, conference there on the court. Well, I believe Miss Norton was leading the team know a bit about what's about to happen here. We'll see how we go. Miss Goloboski, hey, quite fun with the ball. Serve straight down. Back outside. Out. It's out. No touch there on the block. So it's been a series of three points that Rangatoto have benefited from. You know, not, not just every single point, but there's been shots like that where they haven't really had to play it. Oh. Unforced errors, if you want to put it that way. And it's certainly helped them in this uh, the third set. Of course, sets shared at the moment. Oh. That one's good, though. Oh. Now, I just noticed with our girl Goloboski there, her serves are managing to get in between our libero number five, being Brooke Smith. And who's which on the outside? That was number three, I believe, Miss Spark. So it's going to be a difficult decision on who picks it up there. Ngari Ilane ko Aguere, e kai tono. Set up. Norton calls for it. Off the block. Aguere gets the first touch there, sending it down the middle. <laughs> Simkins takes it. So many to keep the ball alive. Well done, <laughs> Kohine Ma. Down the middle, Vanilo. And the timing wasn't quite there, so she came underneath it too much. Couldn't get over it and hit down. And uh, the subs coming on and off. It's like a train station. People <laughs> going everywhere. I love the expression <laughs> for this yeah. moment over here. We've got Braddock coming on for the serve as they try and wrap up this the third set and take it up 2-1 for Rangotoro. But uh, can... Christchurch girls make it 2-1 themselves. Have to be a big effort to come back to five behind. Tips it over, manages to get it as well. Vanilo, bit of a reach she had there, yeah. quite a wingspan. Yeah, you don't have uh, any penalty on that one? How's your refereeing? All good on that? Oh, the eye, the door of the portal, it's all good. Boy hooky tene, Helen Woods, the Hamawi. Four required to catch up and five required to win. Now why with the single arm swing? Probably just to lift both sides are going to need something inspirational. Right. It's not that's going through the motions, but there's been a few unforced errors. What they're probably going to need is someone to do a wow factor. Oh, Kuiara. <laughs> it's a wave going through our crowd here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my old school was terrible at it. <laughs> just sort of sitting in the stands. I want to keep it in I look back at our crowd. And now they're getting into it. Good stuff. <laughs> It'll be banned at Eden Park. Sorry, you can't do this, but you can here. <laughs> this is New Zealand Secondary Schools Volleyball Championships, and it is a good catch up there for Christchurch girls. Just keeping in contact. Three points of difference. Only four required for Rangototo to take the set, and three needed for Christchurch to even it up. From the wave there, we might be able to get a bit more enthusiasm from our Kohine. There we go, picking it up quite nicely, Collins. There we go. That was a bit of a tough one for Collins. She actually had to lean back a little bit. It went just a tad too far. And we're looking at sub again. Three points required. I miss Jasmine Rugg serving. Kapai, our flag holder, is just heading back to his position. Quarite. Serve. Difficult serve for Sparks to take because I think she had a little bit of a, is it going to go out? Oh. In two minds, is it going to go out? How am I going to play this? What do you do on that one? We've got a timeout. 23. 23. Tarangi Toto. Ate Koma Waru Kia Christchurch Girls being 18. Let's see the coach there for Rangatoto, Adam Watson. Talking to his charges. In the meantime, Christchurch 
girls, their coach, and that is Mark Norton. Now, we don't believe he's related to Norton, the player <laughs> at Rangitoto, just to make things complicated. Rangitoto College on the North Harbour region of Auckland. There's a Christchurch girls. It speaks for itself where it is. Hoki mai ngā koe hine, kua rite hoki a Miss Rugg. Hei kai tono i te poro, Miss Rugg, for the serve. Now the set, well, here's the set, which way we go. I fly to Collins. Ngā wai is there to pick it up. Goloboski slams it. Well done, Christchurch girls. Tips it over, Sipkins. Bit of a rally we have going on here at Ewi. Oh, well, but Dan Lawa is there, Goloboski. Sends it back over. There's Campbell. Tried, Gets it back. It. Simpkins lips it over. <laughs> oh, there Simpkins. we go. Oh, yeah. What a rally we had going on there. Putting it onto the you know, offensive side of the court, coming back on. And then Simpkins had the now sword, just managed to get her fingers to it, <laughs> just to do a little short shot. You can see the team up close there. <laughs> That's the reserves. Serve. Collins. Set point. Nawai is yeah. on fire at the moment. Nawai Simpkins. Oh, it's off. And, and that will be it for the third set. Now we know they're here. I got the Wahanga Tsuaturi Tene, Ruta Komari Ma Kiarangi Toto, the Komawari Kashirts girls. Yeah, the uh, third set there going to Rangatoto. They won the last two. Christchurch took the first 25 21, but then it was Rangatoto 25 21. And then that set, the third 25 18. We're coming back with the fourth in just a moment. Found the place. That's a good start. Built by my great grandfather. And go! Just fill up at a participating Caltex, stack your pump discounts, and you can collect more savings on your next visit. Oh, there's another one. Getting quite good at this. Ah, filling and saving feels good. Global warming is incredibly serious. We need to cut emissions, but we need to also absorb carbon out of the atmosphere. Growing trees is the only tool we have in the toolbox for taking carbon out of the atmosphere that we can do at scale. Pinus radiata takes carbon out of the atmosphere at about five to ten times the rate of native planting. And so what New Zealand carbon farming are doing is planting the Pinus radiata to absorb the carbon, and then they're transitioning that forest into native forests so that we get the biodiversity benefit. Nau mai hoki mai te iwi ki te wāhanga tua whā i nai nei o tēnei kemu whakahirahira a ko te kemu whainara o rangi toto ki a Christchurch Girls. Christchurch Girls i te mā ki tō mātou nei taha o te kāmera ki tau atu taha ko rangi toto i te whero me te kahurangi. Ko hotu i nai nei ki a Dave. I'm not too sure what's going on with Christchurch Girls but during that well I guess the break in sets there with Rangatoto going up two sets to one we had uh, Joanna McCaskill coming on and a coach and everybody laughing at her. Her team, as she ran around her side of the court, smiling and laughing, the coach was laughing, but uh, maybe it was her warm up because this is the first time that I can recall that she's actually been on court number four. Aye, aye, take a quick She's running around and they were laughing, so good on them. Girl Bossy slams it down for the first one. 
Hits off the block. There, there we go. Getting the first point of the fourth set now. What a blast as well. Goes out there. Bam, it's gone. Right, Kuyara, Tekaha, or Goloboski. I think the, the best thing about that just little interlude there with the Christchurch girls in that break was that they were all laughing and smiling. This yeah. is the big final, but they're able to laugh and uh, playing for each other. And too big. So they're still enjoying what they're doing. They may be down two sets to one. It doesn't matter. They're right. playing for each other. This is high school sport. Yes, it's very important to everybody involved. The good thing is this sport hasn't gone to the extent of some other sports where right. it's just two series. Kora te mea nui o tēnei kemu te poere wa me ngana kia kiki ai te wairua me te harikoa. So you just got to stay positive and keeping yep. that, that good mentality throughout the entire game. Oh, tips it over, well done, Norton there. The touch from Norton was superb. She read the game so well, let's watch on the replay. Up. Yeah. Well done, Miss Norton. It was over the blockers, but too far ahead for the defensive players who were back. She definitely seen the opening there just in front of her over the blocks. And I call Miss Beltene. Out to Miss Collins, and that's it there. Arai kite aia, itaua wahi. She's seen the opening there. Rakuiara and Patsuki Reira, she hit it down to an opening position. Nice way to get on the board, you don't have to hit it too hard, but she had the control and the touch. Arai kuiara. Mai te kai Patsui naile ki te kai tono. Engari kuiara ko te neti. I didn't even say anything this time. <laughs> And uh, going back for the serve, Quite it is Goloboski. I hit Tortica, it is a bit of a straight. Oh. Keeping the ball in play there. <laughs> Zooming across. Aguera, Aguera, sorry, let's get it over. Rug, picked up nicely. Collins will hit. Nawai is there. Goloboski saves. <laughs> Running all over the court, our girls are oh, slamming it off the block. Aguere. Uh, there was players sprinting in every direction there. I forgot what position meant what. <laughs> exactly. Everybody doing a huge amount of work. With the curved run up. Simpkins is ready. Sends it out back, Norton. Off the block, but Tui Vasa picks it up with her shoulder. Top right back out through the middle. Tui Vasa. Arhomai e hara e tera a Tui Vasa ko Vanilo, number 11. Mauri ora. Te kaha hoki down the middle. Christ, she's pretty happy with that one. Ka hoki atu ki a Gwere. Hei kai tono i te poro. Now back to number 12. Serve. Kolobowski from the back. So, Kyle, have you seen anything that leads you to believe that one side is the winner here? I mean, it's two sets to one. Game, other than just having, oh, Rangi Toto girls being a defending chance at the moment, right. but just with that information alone at this time, Christchurch is keeping up, yeah. I'd say, rather. So you can't say that one side looks set to win this at the moment. Right. You don't feel that way. Yeah. Almost impaled herself in the team bench. Back into it, there was Collins there. I think it was, doing the chasing. In the meantime, we have just a one point advantage. Everybody's just checking. Tuvasa comes off. And we have Braddock on. Ooh, and it flies out. Just saying that Miss Norton will now be sitting, I believe. That will be her position in the meantime. Wanted to see if that is correct, Miss. I know Miss Bell is still present on the opposite side. Joanna McCaskill 
coming on. Uh, she's one of the new players on after the uh, set break. Serve. Oh, gee, that was low over the net. Somehow made it. Ragu. The two respective coaches, Mark Norton for Christchurch and for Rangi Adam Watson, both arms folded, watching intently. Can't believe how often Norton is smiling. <laughs> for Joanna. Picked up by Rug, Golubowski, Kahokiatsu. Can't play. Oh, they kind of just lost it there. Went behind and they're wondering where the ball is shot off to. Here it is on the replay. Let's. Yeah, went in between everybody. Miss Bow was quick enough to react there, just couldn't get it up, unfortunately. Now Christchurch girls maintaining a two point lead here. And we can see. Off the court at the moment, the Rangatoto boys warming up. Let's and there we are, the power of Miss Norton. Just on the outside there, Modi Orakiaya to Kahawiki. Kiteaya Norpa. Nice catch in the crowd. Kare Kiteaya Homoi. And then now coming to the service line. Norton has had some great success, but also few errors on her serve. Hi. I wonder what she's going to do on this one. Oh, look at that topspin. There see we that? go. Yeah, rolling over the net at fast pace, the topspin serve. Topspin. It's kind of difficult to get those serves down lock, especially perfecting them. It seems like Norton has a down lock. There we go, free ball. And the net touch, I believe. Now just for viewers who are expecting the boys' Division 1 final to start at 5 o'clock, it's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, because a bit <laughs> they're having to warm up on the other court, and that's uh, fine, but uh, this match has gone past 5 p.m. So we'll be rolling there we on. go, Miss Norton. I don't know my day. Miss Norton just showing off some incredible serves at the moment. Is that now three points? Where's she going to go this time? Down the line again? Definitely has control of where she wants to hit. And making Christchurch here. We knew that was going to happen. As soon as she won two to three points on the serve, hey, we're going to get the call. Let's take a timeout. Definitely smart decision there. Miss Norton, when she's on fire, oh, it's a pretty dangerous situation there for your team. Strong serves. She knows how to aim. And she definitely has the power for it. So... Norton. So just as we mentioned there that the boys final, particularly if you're from uh, Tauranga, I guess, you are looking forward to your boys final starting at around about five. Well, this match has uh, continued and it will be followed on with Rangatoto boys against Tauranga boys after oh. the completion of this match, which who knows if it's going to go, well, finish in this set or go one more. I mean, I got four Arangi Toto with the Wahangane. They will win the entire game if Arangi Toto wins the set. If Christchurch manages, I wanted to watch the serve here. Arohomai Tefano. There we go. If Christchurch girls manage to pull this off, then we will be moving on to our fifth and final set. It's up to 15. We never win by two. Right. And there will be a technical switch at the first point, the first team rather, to reach eight points. Okay, Mike Norton. There we are, she's got it down. Out back. Now, this is where the coach for Christchurch has to actually use his timeouts, also use his bench as well. Mm. Because some of the players potentially could be getting a bit fatigued here. You can see a few errors coming in, hitting it too long, hitting it into the net. Right. And that's going to happen, but a little bit of fatigue. This is five long days. They were playing three matches every day. Up until today. I roar about the Wikine, I take a hockey on our Mahi, on our Rangatahi, on our Kamariki, Itene Wiki, Roane. It has indeed been a long week for our Tamariki and our Rangatahi. And we're talking about teenagers here. This isn't, I, you know, adults who train all the time, uh, someone like Norton does, although we've explained that, uh, you know, Rangatoto do train every day. I could keep it. Kapai must Lily Spark, hey, Kai Tono it the portal. Three points the difference. Nawai picks it up. Norton for the set outside. Slams it down, but manages to pick it up. Well done. There we go. Off That's the it. block, lands inside. And that is a miss rug there. 
That's a block. great block. Let's watch it on the replay here. She gets up. Solid. Full stretch. Aye. The other thing the she had was her arms quite close together as well. Wasn't going to go through the middle. Yes, closing that gap there. Not letting anything through. Now from blocker to serve. Probably serve. With the Kiwaho. Bonilo. Simpkins again. Breaks through our Kukulaboski Tera. Down all. There we go. Have a fast little rip swing there she has. Creating that momentum and power. What do you think of this? My player for going a Toto so far has actually been Nawai Simpkins. Oh, definitely. No, what a beautiful defender. What a great work she's done throughout this whole game. Just taps that one over. over. Too far. Well, I, I actually think she's as much kept a minute, but she's just been that glue. I mean, that is her job. Right. She's brought the team together like a little bit of glue, and we've got uh, another timeout. What are you going to say here if you're Norton, the coach of uh, Christchurch girls? Definitely that our girls are we're doing great at the moment, keeping a big lead, but we can't just be relying on her serves to maintain that point distance. Not saying that they rely on Norton here. Our girls and Bangitutu is a powerful team. So is our Christchurch girls. Just as we've seen in the first and second set. It's been quite close games, rather. What is the serve? Six-point lead. And there's the serve from Ragatoto. Veers off a little bit. And this will be a chance ball here. This is set. There's a pick it up. Oh. Dumps it over, but Ngawai is indeed ready for it. Goloboski. Oh, that's superb dig. And, oh my goodness, there we go. I believe there was a bit of a lit situation there with our girls from Christchurch. Waiting for the indication here, it was in the end, but that was uh, pretty good work from the, the dig out of there from uh, Christchurch girls in the end. Right with the serve. So Sends it outside. Lead. It is a bit off, sadly. Norton with the set. Back out to Collins. And it will be a net. Widening the gap here between our two teams. Well, this is where Rangatoto, with the experience of finals and the amount that they train, all the big matches that they play against the other, and in particular the other Auckland schools, particularly the ones in North Harbour. You know, big match practice starts coming through now. Aye. Can they wrap it up? Shoot out to Vani Low. Simpkins. Tips it over. This is smart volleyball coming in. Not going for the big shots all the time, just picking that gap. There was that gap in the middle. And it was well picked. And you can feel just a little bit of confidence coming through it. Aye. hooky. She's definitely sending the ball nice and high to make an easy, good set. And it will be a chance ball. We're going Ngawai sending it nice and high outside there. And there we go. Reaching 18. Let's see that. It's a 10 point advantage. And it's going to be tough for Christchurch girls to come back from here as the Bangatoto. Move on out just that little bit further. Their bench substitutes well. Looked almost happy. <laughs> oh, there we go. Takes it up in the in the throat. And it just rolls up and it clips the player there. Oh. Picking up the lead. Seeing the confidence come through and uh, Rangatoto. Who's our server here? Kyle. Ragtera. That's uh, a little bit too big. She did manage to score her team a lot of points while yeah. serving. Kuera te kaha o rug. Engarira ko hoki mai. Who's that? Miss Vani Low coming in, substituting. Yes, it is. For number eight there being Miss Kate. So there was a good number of points coming up there for Rangatoto as they head towards 20. Possibly the force hit win. Too big. They'll let them reach 20 points now. And substitute it off. Makes you feel pretty bad that when you hit, hit a serve out and you get subbed off. Aye. 
Yeah, the feeling is the tackle of Motivaro. She wanted to be there for a bit longer. Who is going to be serving now for Rangatara? Ah, there we go. Okay, Demi Holmes. Yeah. All right. That's her role. She comes in, serves. <laughs> you're off now. Kauri mai, katsuki te poro, katahi, kaputa. Aye, tētuku. Up to 20. Five more points required for Rangatoro and a heap for Christchurch girls. Get back into this. Serve. Outside to Collins. Delayed jump there. Still managed just to hit it over. Norton. Golubowski. Top way. <laughs> Tuabasa had the ball keep on following her. Managed to pick it up the first time, but it was a bit low. Kakite Ano. That's a big Let's lot see. of running. <laughs> She didn't want to go for that second touch, but no. she just kept it up. No one else around her could take it. Call Newman Tene. Hey Kaitono. Picked up by Rug. Norton to Goloboski. Back out to Collins. Oh, oh, managed to pick that one up quite good actually. Tips it over. Almost a clash. Three Vasa. Some crazy point. Oh. There we go. 21 points now Rangitoto has. Players are just switching sides, diving everywhere. Rangatoto are pretty fortunate. Simpkins just getting a word from Norton. It's about people, let's keep communicating. All right. Yeah, you can see it on the Christchurch girls' faces. They are smiles. Yes, they are a bit behind, but they, they want to enjoy their time here on this court as much as they can, and they will show it. Each point is a, a bit of a bonus. In the meantime, Alice Bell, the left-hander for Rangatoto. Yeah. Nice slam it down there. <laughs> that, that was like, I didn't mean to get out of the way of it, but it was coming for me. And, uh, team forgives it. All right, that was indeed a strong hit by Miss Collins, number six, going up to serve. She, was managed, she managed to get the 11th point for Christchurch girls. Collins with the serve. She'd be one of the stronger hitters for Christchurch girls, and now serving. Now why touches it. I think she was in two minds. Do I leave it and get embarrassed Aye. if it drops in? Or if it goes out, well, that's great selection. Should I should I grab it? Yeah. Uh, it's carrying on now. Where's the service? Got to go down the middle. Yes, it is. Go, no picks way. her out again. Got a nice and high first dig. Goloboski slams it down. The to to that has. Back to a 10-point lead with uh, 10 points. It's going to be hard work now for Christchurch to come up. You can have a 10-point deficit early on, but when it comes to 22... Uh, it's going to be a bit of trouble. So back. 23, edging closer and closer, defending their title, Rangatoto. You can see Norton's just saying, just chill, keep calm. Aye. Uh, Got two more points. We haven't won quite yet. Golaboski. So, sends it outside there, off the block. Takes out a couple of spectators, <laughs> bounces off the block. Says some seats for the Rangi Toto game. Ko Aguere te nei hei kai tsukui te poro iro to ite ma. It is Aguere for the serve. We got uh, whistle. It's just the substitutes. Thank you very much there to the sponsors: Bailey's, uh, Polo Projects, New Zealand Carbon Farming, and uh, Caltex, and of course all of the hard workers behind the scenes, the volunteers, the teachers, coaches, play this themselves as well. Oh, they've got to call it and leave it. Off the block, still picks it up. Here we go, breaks through. The coach there wasn't uh, happy about something or wanted to pass on a message to his players. <laughs> Can't quite read his sign language, yeah, uh, no, Norton, the can't coach. Can't read his hip on the back, unfortunately. Yeah. Need a, need a quite good at TNA. Rug. That's what she's there for, those special powerful hits. Comes in from the side. She 
has been a great contributor throughout the match. We've got three subs or two here. Now they're just ro rotating around. And I think we need another player. <laughs> they had five players on there. <laughs> Not quite ready then. Yeah, Braddock's been told by the coach, no, you're meant to be on there. You're serving. At set point, match point. Let's get ready here for this Taylor Braddock with the serve for Rangototo as they try and defend their title against Christchurch girls. Not finished quite yet. Kareano Kamatsu. Kita ora tonu ratau o Christchurch girls. Kea rug. And there it is. The right. Kea mu. Kwaina ra i tēnei wā rua te kaumārima rangi toto a ko Christchurch girls te kaumāwha winning the third set here. Te rangi toto. What a total of four sets we had in this amazing game. Over Tokiri, yeah, that is our Rangi Toto girls defending their title. Oh, come out the he for, for Hinema. Well, they dropped the first set, Ranga Toto College, but they came back strong the next three. So Christchurch girls took the first at 25 21. It was Ranga Toto then 25 21, then 25 18, then 25 14. Too strong in the end. And just that. Well, the power came through and the teamsmanship, they managed to work so well together in Pakaiho. What did you think about that? You look at that, the Rangatoto boys have come on. You guys are uh, going to be playing very shortly, so maybe they want the court quickly to warm up oh. for their final. But uh, well done there to Rangatoto College. They defend their title. And we've got uh, Adam Watson, the coach, out there as well. And uh, Christchurch girls, great effort to get through to the final and also take that first set. And for you, Pakaiho, who are the uh, stars for perhaps uh, Rangatoto for you? Oh, ko Rangitoto, ko aku i tino kaitakuru i tēnei ui kēmu, a ko Golaboski tērā, a ko Ngāwai Simpkins definitely, ko raua tahi ngā kaitakuru tino kahakeau, one Golaboski being a solid hitter, they get to a lot of blocks there and solid serves consistently, as well as Ngāwai Simpkins. Definitely keeping the ball up, as you said, being the glue on the team there. I wear to play hooky. What about for Christchurch girls? Someone Definitely. who stood out for you in the individuals? I mean, obviously it's a team game and every do everybody does their bit. But was oh. there anybody who really stood out? Definitely Miss Collins there being a solid hitter, number right. six. Breaking through so many blocks. Also keeping the ball alive as well. But also Miss Aguere. Solid serves, consistent. Yep. Very good. Okay, we can see pictures of uh, the... Vangototo team have uh, been celebrating there. Christchurch in a bit of a huddle. Coach just taking them through it. But uh, we're going to come back not too far away and uh, we're going to be uh, waiting on that men's final very shortly. A Māori active, find us on YouTube. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. This isn't about long distance calling, technology, or living overseas. Do I have one more bid? Thank you. We're going to go once. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> It's about Baileys finding buyers that others can't. Hey. Sport is about more than just the game. It's about going from teammates to best mates. It's the high fives and helping hands. It's learning when to back yourself 
or back your buddies. It's actually being excited to get out of bed early on a Saturday. Sport is about more than just the game. That's why Caltex is proud to help fuel school sports. Funding is a real challenge. Uh, we know that a lot of schools face that ongoing and the reality is if you go to a lower DSI school in New Zealand you are less likely to be able to afford to participate in sport. Obviously having come through it myself with kids and, and being one of those kids myself who played sport, I know how much it defined who I was. And now being able to go, I can't fix it all, but we can help and try and give to those people who are going through a really tough time. It's a real privilege, but you know, for us, we want to see others get involved with it. This is not a selfish thing for Apollo, this is about how can we get, um, whether it's construction or other businesses, to get involved in this. There's a lot of things that kids miss out on, and so to have businesses step up and want to be involved and to help is a game changer for schools, it really is. Global warming is incredibly serious. We need to cut emissions, but we need to also absorb carbon out of the atmosphere. Growing tree is the only tool in the toolbox for taking carbon out of the atmosphere at scale. Pinus radiata takes carbon out of the atmosphere at about five to 10 times the rate of native planting. And so what New Zealand carbon farming are doing is planting the Pinus radiata to absorb the carbon, and then they're transitioning that forest into native forest so that we get the biodiversity in it. This is an opportunity that we can't pass up. Well, after that fantastic Division One girls final with Rangatoto coming out, winning in four, we're now getting ready for the boys final, but Pakayo Short is down courtside and he's got a guess with him. Cheers, thanks for that. Walk off. Tēnā rā tātou e te iwi e te motu, nau mai hara mai ki ngā kēmu poere wā kura tuarua o te motu, ko kō kai hau shou tōku ingoa, he kai kōrero, he kai mātaki hoki mō e nei kēmu, a ki konei, kō wai tō ingoa e tama. Kia ora, ko tāki pau tōku ingoa, he tau ira tēnei ki te kura kaupapa Māori o te whanau tahi, he tau te kau mā toru, ko au tētahi o ka tini kai tākoro o tēnei o ka whakatātai. Ngā mihi nui ki a koe tāiki, kei au e tahi pātai mā au, a koe pātai tsua tahi, Ina kia i tīmata koe i tēnei o ngā hākina kina. I tīmata taku tākoro poere wā i te mutukau te tau iwa. Ko ia anoho ki te wā i tīmata au te kapa a tōma tau kura. Mai reira, ko tino whanake, ko tino pua wai i rato i tēnei o ka ao. Kau anoa ko tā tātou ahurea Māori e kari hoki o mātou pukeka. Heo ti ano, ko ia anoho ki te tomokaka mai o taku uru ki te ao poere wā. Fū kā mau te wehi, i nā nei tētahi pātai anō aroha mai, haha tētahi tika ngā kahari a koe ki te kāinga, mai i tēnei hākinakina. Mō kuake ko te reo Māori tētahi o kā mea hirahira, taku haere ki te kura kaupapa Māori ko mātou kā tama, ka kana ki te aro, ki te ū, ke aro ki tō tātou reo Māori i a mātou tākoro ana, a heo ti anō ko tētahi mea, tētahi atu mea, ko te whakaute, ko te whakaroko, a hei mea nau, nui tērā ki aku mātua, a hei o ti anō, a hei nui anō ka akorako o tēnei kēmuhu, rauwe. Ngā mihi nui ki a koe taiki, o, ngā mihi nui. Ngā mihi nui. Ka pai i tēnei wā, kei au tētahi kai tākoro anō, a ko kemi au tōna ingoa, he kai tākoro nui i ao te aroa. Oera, haramai ki au, kami au. Tēnā koe, pokai au shō tōku ingoa.
top right here we have Mr. Cameo here. So tell us like a little bit about yourself and what started you in the sport. Um, I'm Cameo Wagner, I'm from Mount Monganui, uh, play sitter. A uh, year out of school now, just coaching the Mount Senior A girls. Oh, now I've heard that you also played overseas for our New Zealand Asian Champs, I believe? Ah, uh, yeah, so the Asia Champs is for this year. So oh, it's, a, it's the squad right now. We've got a camp uh, next month, and then we play Australia in a test series. And whoever wins that goes to Asia Champs for Oceania. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, that sounds real exciting. And I only had two questions for you. That's right. And I am here to help you. Thank you. Ka atu, ka atu au ki ki reira, ka atu, ki koe, Gareth. Oh, thank you very much there, Pakayo, short courtside with a couple of little interviews there. We're going to come back in uh, just a moment for a bit of a chat with uh, Stephen Upfold, uh, the boss, the uh, CEO of uh, Volleyball New Zealand, as we prepare for this final, the boys' Division One final, Rangatoto against Tauranga Boys. Yes. This isn't about long distance calling, technology, or living overseas. Do I have one more bid? Thank you. We're going to go once. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Bailey's finding buyers that others can't. Hey. Sport is about more than just a game. It's about going from teammates to best mates. It's the high fives and helping hands. That's why Caltex is proud to help fuel school sports. Forest should never have been taken off this steep hill tree that's eroding, and it makes absolute sense for us, those hills. What we're doing here, using the exotics to help process get established, we're looking at a transition process where the lines are progressively thinned as the neighbourhood establishes. We're trying to do several here. Soak up carbon, establish native form, we're trying to improve biodiversity. You're a cheerful lot with one programme of activity. Funding is a real challenge. Uh, we know that a lot of schools face that ongoing and the reality is if you go to a lower DSI school in New Zealand you are less likely to be able to afford to participate in sport. Obviously having come through it myself with kids and, and being one of those t kids myself who played sport, I know how much it defined who I was. And now being able to go, I can't fix it all, but we can help and try and give to those people who are going through a really tough time. It's a real privilege, but you know, for us, we want to see others get involved with it. This is not a selfish thing for Apollo, this is about how can we get, um, whether it's construction or other businesses, to get involved in this. There's a lot of things that kids miss out on, and so to have businesses step up and want to be involved and to help is a game changer for schools, it really is. And welcome back as we prepare for the boys' Division 1 final. About to get underway, of course, a little bit delayed as we had such an exciting girls' Division 1 final. Rangatoto College coming through three sets to one over Christchurch girls. And joining me now is uh, Stephen Upfold, the CEO of uh, Volleyball New Zealand. Uh, great to have you with me, uh, Stephen. Uh, how did you enjoy that? Fantastic game, wasn't it, Dave? And I think um, a really, really good example about uh, where our sport is. Uh, really dynamic. Uh, really action-packed and um, all all condensed into a really short period. The, the players interacting with each other after every point, just showing their connections to each other. It's what volleyball's all about, and we get a second helping of it right now with the boys' final. Fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, great stuff to have. Also, so many supporters. The teams just haven't gone. No. They've uh, stuck around. I don't know how many of them are in the main stand there, but... Uh, they're here, they're watching, they're getting into it as well. When it, there was a little lull, perhaps, I think, in the third, maybe the early stages of the fourth, and they put on a Mexican wave. But why not entertain yourself? We've got to remember that they are teenagers. That's right. Volleyball is all about passion, Dave, and I think um, you're getting an illustration of that. You've been here all week, so you would have seen the gym uh, full across We've been all the here different pretty arenas. Late. They're late days, they're long days, but they're passionate days as well, and that's something that the volleyball community can really stand in good stead. They are really passionate about their sport. They play it, they're fully committed to it, and that passion comes out on court and off. Some of the colour and the and the vibrancy you see around some of the team mascots and some of the cheer songs, Maradawa High School and, and their run through the tournament. Did, did you hear Mandurewa singing before their oh, matches? Incredible, in the, yeah. absolutely incredible. And I think it's a really, really good advertisement for what volleyball is about. It's about the sport, yes, but it's also about the culture that supports it. 
Yeah, there's been uh, laughter and tears. Uh, some of the players, you know, some of those five setters, particularly in the semi-finals, have been so tough for teams who thought perhaps they had the match. But with, uh, it doesn't always mean that way <laughs> until you've won that last point, does it? No, that's right. I mean, sport is hard, right? You've got a team opposite on you on the other side of the court trying to stop you doing what you're trying to do. And I think that's uh, the, the ability for the teams to rise above that, work through it, their coaching teams working through and presenting those tactical challenges. And that's the beauty of the, the, the tournament over a whole week. You can see some of those things unfold as they learn, as they go through, which is a great, which is a great way to be. And hopefully, you get to the culmination of all that in the in the final matches. The flip side of that, of course, they're quite tired after all that work yeah. that they put in over the course of the week. Yeah, most uh, teams have been playing about three matches a day, and then you get up to these finals. Uh, they are teenagers, and the fatigue, mentally and physically, coming through. So the big question is, we've had around about 1,800 players or 198 teams here. The big question is. How do you take it from all these players here into adulthood and keeping them involved in the game? Yeah, I think some of that's about um, the the experience they have here, but also the quality of the structures that they progress into. I, I'm, I'm not shy in saying that volleyball it doesn't have a growth problem; it has a retention problem. And I, and I think part of what part of what we've got to organise and work together on as a sport is a strategy that improves some of the structures to be able to absorb the talent as they leave school, because it's clearly working in the school space. The events and the opportunities that are, that are, are sort of maintained within the school environments are really top quality. It's now having Having us invest the time and the energy into making sure probably that we take some of the lessons about what's going on in the schools and transfer that yep. into some of the, the senior systems that sit beyond it and that'll be the work for us over the next few months and years as we work through that and evolve it. Well it's probably when they get into adulthood as well it's not always about being the competitive or the best you've got mm. to have leagues where they're enjoyable yeah. uh, for all sorts of people in all sorts of ages you can have the top league but you've also got to have the involved and you know fun as well. Yeah, totally. And I think part of our part of our work that we need to do over the next little while is find the offerings that um, people can select that meet their needs. And so the way that we're set up at the moment, a lot of our events are mass participation events. They're all set on the same on the same almost operational system. And so us getting to a place where we differentiate a little bit between uh, quality and quantity is probably where we need to land over a period of time. And, and we'll do that work over the next sort of 12 to 16 months we've got a competition review that will help work through some of that and maximize what we're trying to do with providing the, the products that people need and I think uh, fair to say we've got some some work to do there. Well uh, Steve as uh, CEO I believe you were at a meeting a volleyball meeting uh, earlier in the week uh, is that right um, what was that about? Yeah so uh, lucky enough to be in a position where I uh, attended the Oceania AGM so New Zealand uh, Aotearoa is a part of uh, the Oceania um, zone within the Asian Confederation and so we had a meeting uh, in Hawaii, not that I saw much of Hawaii, it was a lot of meeting yeah. rooms and hey, not so much A lot much of people else. were pretty jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and those discussions were about how do we, how do we maximise um, the, the opportunity and the quality that sits within the volleyball system in Oceania and we're also fortunate enough to, to connect with some FIVB representatives, that's the international body for, for volleyball and um, had some good discussion there about how they might also help stimulate some of the programs and opportunities for the sport in this region. Well finally we've got the secondary schools championship here and uh, the big final for the boys that is but what's next for the sport? Is there another tournament somewhere whether it's for secondary schools or uh, for adults? I think we've got the indoor champs for the adults, when's that coming yeah, up? Yeah the next the next national level event is the Interprovincial Championships in Wellington in, in June. So Is that Queen's, uh, yeah, Queen's or King's birthday, yeah, someone's birthday? Yeah it's a, it's a different one these days but um, so that is a three day event our Interprovincial Championships we've got 15 regions around the country and, and they organise and coordinate their best players as part of those teams to come and participate over the, the various age grades, there's under 17s there's under 19s, there's under 23s and the Senior Open so again it's another big beast uh, volleyball does quantity in terms of its events and um, the work's already underway in, in getting that prepped and ready to go for everybody oh great stuff we'll look forward to that well Stephen Upfold uh, the CEO of Volleyball New Zealand uh, will let you go and uh, perhaps take a seat up there in the box and have a look it's going to be an exciting final coming up and this the boys Div 1 final And uh, well now I'm going to get to Pakaiho coming back in the commentary box. We'll do a bit of a switch around there of the uh, headset. Thank you very much there, Steve. As we get ready, the players have uh, done their warm-up. Well, almost.
and uh, we'll have a look at the uh, teams there. I think we've got those sorted out. The odd uh, changes. Uh, what have we got there, uh, Pakaiho? Uh, looking at uh, Tauranga boys, we've got a couple of changes coming up on the side. Let's run through the numbers before they get introduced on the court. Uh, number three, Eric Rosenberg. Four, Dylan Griffiths. And six, Bailey uh, Monterero. <laughs> got a little bit of a squiggle there. Yes, it is. Now, he's going to be doing the... Uh, well, the scrapping around, pulling up all those shots. Come on, you know it is. Uh, number seven, Henry Fulton. Eight, Junior Tavalu. Nine is uh, Khan Carlton. Ten, Hamish Nielsen. And uh, then we've got uh, Regan Wilson at 11. The captain is, uh, looks like, Natana Samir. And uh, number 15, Noah Selioni. Kapoi ngā mihi ki a koe teve, ai koa hoki mai au, mai rarui ho rā, engari ki te koroe pāna ki ngā kai tākuro o Rangitoto College. Kapoi I'll be speaking about Rangitoto boys. Number 10 being Rico Bola. Number 2 being Lilburn Zane. Number 3, Joseph Cha. Number 4 being James Haslam. Number 5 being Kaisen Norton, also our scrapper libero for Rangitoto. Number six being Kenai Stevenson. Number seven, John D. Paiva, Oliveira Ramalo. I don't know if I must pronounce that, but we're going to carry on. Number eight with Will Schmidt. Number nine being Logan Brewster. Eleven, John Petrucci. Number 12 being Cuba Riva Rihari, also our captain for our Rangi Kuku boys. Number 13, of course, being Joshua Perks. Okay, and the uh, head coach there for Ranga Toto, Johan uh, Timmer, he is <laughs> very excitable. <laughs> He's there. You'll see him up and about very shortly. He's also part of Volleyball New Zealand. The assistant coaches, Sam Bell, Nathan Tamatia, and uh, Josh Bullen. The coaches for Tauranga, head coach Nick Christie, assistant coach Daryl Boyd. Now looking at these players that they come out, I can tell you from Ranga Toto, Cuba Vihari. It's quite a big, tall lad, number 12 there. Aye, aye, the ball. Very much a leader. You, you watch him on the court, and he is a real leader. The players follow him. Uh, someone else that we should watch out for, uh, Logan uh, Gorster, powerful hitter. Uh, Will Schmidt, his serve is immense. I'll tell you that one, we've seen that one in action. Uh, we've got uh, Stevenson. Not sure if it's, uh, he's related. He, he's just the young guy who'll come on and pretty keyed up as we watch <laughs> the Tauranga boys. They're keyed up as well. We shouldn't discount them. Vanga Toto had to fight really hard in their semi-final. Well, it looked as though they'd actually lost it against Hillcrest. That was one heck of a semi-final, that one. And getting ready both sides. Let's have a look at the uh, referees. Who have we got as our referees? Sure. It's going to be uh, Brady Nicholson from Queensland, Australia. And Desmond Kitty Kitty. But in the meantime, we're going to get ready here as we locate the ball. Ka pae te ui whanui, ke ko nei mātou ki tēnei o ngā kōti nui. A ko i ngā kai tākuro nei, a ko Rangi Toto College kei te whero. A ko Tauranga Boys e tatake ki te kamera nei i te kahurangi me ki. A bit of a navy colour there, aroha mai. Engari ke te tima tāke e tēnei kemi whakahirahira o ngā whainara. Yes, it is uh, the navy colour, the blue for Taranga, and uh, the maroon with the blue stripe down the front for... Oh, let's uh, get the tip there, tipping it back over. Toto. On the back, tips it up. And that was a left-hand hit landing in, allowing Taranga boys to get the first point of our game in the finals, Carpoi. Who's this uh, to serve? Is it the uh, captain there serving? Aye, for Taranga. Ko te ra Mr. Netana Samia. Tono ai te pōro. Float there picked up nicely. We sent down the middle, slamming it down. Koi hoki te ra number 8 from Rangi Koko. Yeah, yeah he, he is going to power serves as well. Here's the captain. You, you just see the way the captain moves. He knows what he's doing. Aye. Whenever there was a little bit of controversy in the semi-finals, uh, he, Rihari, he just kept everybody calm. Oh. So keep the ball alive. Cross core, picks it up, well done. And 
Breaks through the block, but he manages to keep it up. Cross court. What a rally we had going on there, but only triple from Jordan Oh, look at that. Almost off the face of Schmidt. <laughs> the initial shot. Pick it up quite well from it. Yeah, we've got the um, high, higher net for the uh, boys, for the males, but uh, we've also got taller players. Down the line there, back out, tips it over, but the boys are ready for it. Well, did indeed hit the ground called up by Kirikere, the ref on the right. Now coming out to serve from Tauranga, Mr. Henry Fulton. Yeah, right out on the left-hand side. So he's going to serve like lots of height. Well, outside here again, comes off the block. Here's the replay. It does land on toad on the side of the court, giving the point and serve the Tsurangi Toto. Tricky number 11 is probably the tallest player for Rangatoto, but they do have quite a bit of height in there anyway. A beautiful quick down the middle there, beautiful chemistry as well. Of course, the captain in there, Tana Samia, setting it up to number, was number eight, was it? I'm only seeing four substitutes for Taranga, whereas for Rangatoto it seems like a cast of thousands. Yeah, it's a bit of a lineup we have going on. Yeah. Kapai Junior Tavalu. There will be a float. Comes off the block. Hugo manages to get past with the cross. It is a bit far. Kapai Kohukimai. Kare tai tau katia, Mauri ora. Tips it over just barely. Who gets Kimuri? Koi ora. Tangana, a tauranga, itaua. Itaua rally. Oh, we're going to have some long rallies throughout this game, I believe. They're going to be here for a while. But <laughs> how's, how's my flight going? <laughs> how's your flight going? All right. <laughs> I picked it up quite nicely, sending it through the middle. And it's a bit over the net, unfortunately. Mr. Tavalu. One of the things we're going to see is that both teams are so good at getting up to block that you can't just blast it through them sometimes. You're going to have to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. There you go, that is the push through there, number four being Dylan. There, Gee, no. number seven there, down very low. Number seven, Henry Fulton, almost took it off his knee. You can see that the boys managed to hit hard, and yet, with our little knee pad situation there, you can definitely see that they don't need to dig or dive quite as low because the hits are coming from a higher angle. Yeah. It's harder, definitely. But and no is. one's wearing uh, knee pads, by the way. No one is. Uh, we've got number 12. I think it's more of a bandage <laughs> mouse. What a serve that was. Seems like a chance for here. He's up. Through the middle. It's blocked. Comes off the block. <laughs> and it will be blocked out. You see an interesting thing with uh, Rihari, Cooper Rihari. He's got a lot of height there, but he doesn't actually go up for the big shots. He sets everybody else up. Right. Hardly ever in the semi-finals did I see him go for a big shot. It's always about setting everybody else. Here goes Schmidt. <laughs> Told you he serves hard. Yes, definitely. Rocket. Now they're, they're both looking for it there. Both teams were celebrating. Got anything there, but yeah, both teams. Here we go. Here's Timmer coming up. Tim was just saying, go and talk to the ref. See that? The coach came out and pointed, and his captain said, you talk to the ref about it, just All to right. remind him. Nice top spin there. We'll send it throughout the middle, our back. Yeah, that's where you've got to be careful uh, if you're going to try and drive through the block. Sometimes it does come back and drop right down at your feet. 
Got to be a little bit careful of that. Michael gets the ball to make uh, number two, Matahi Regan Wilson. So, what do you think about the crowd? Who are they going to support? Tauranga or Rangatoto? I mean, I've heard a lot of conversations happen about this top of oh, beautiful spot. There you go. This arena is roaring when Rangatoto scores, but yet again, the same energy is brought when Tauranga scores a point. Interesting. So, I mean, Tauranga in the Bay of Plenty isn't always the favourite school because they're the big school. Yeah. You know, when you've got a big grammar school, it's always the want to beat them. Uh, what have we got going on here? Something wrong with the ball, perhaps? I'm just checking our rotations, maybe. Okay. Quiet as John will deserve. Land. Oh, I don't know. Um, the judge was in line. The Hillcrest judge. Uh, he was in line, but um, looked pretty tight to us. Oh. Pretty much above it. Of an offset there, still managing. And that one is far, a bit further than the last hit that we saw. Excuse me. So uh, we have the players here for Langwood Just going to have to tidy things up a little bit. In the meantime, it's Tavon. So let's go up. Outside. Really short. Now it is. There's a timeout. There's got to be a timeout call. Is Tim going to call it? Yes, he is. Yes, there we go. Five points the difference. And you can see Tim is like, okay, let's just call this in. Take it easy, guys. Don't get frustrated. Only first set. Don't have to hit a winner on every shot. Mm. And, uh, like we've seen with us. Just having a look at that uh, little huddle there. Everyone's just taking a bit of water or liquid. There's Tim Ring, he's pretty tall. Can't quite see him. Hmm. Meanwhile, Taronga, not much you can say there. They're doing a good job so far. This will be one of the key things for Taronga if they want to take this set, let alone any other sets, is just keep it steady. Keep it steady. You know that Rangatoto are going to go for the big shots. Right. And that's the thing that it's good to somehow sometimes stick to the basics. And we've got uh, Dylan Griffiths here with the serve. Quite deep. Will be from a pipe. Regan's there. That's nice. Little, nice little touch there. Number 13 comes on. Uh, Joshua Perks. I managed to nick it back with a block. Quite a bit of height up the front there. You see, you've got Perks and uh, number 13. Uh, and uh, we also have. Rihari in the middle. Oh, definitely a and wall. Set number nine. Forster as well. So quite a bit of height in the front. Side Regan. Picks up from the back there. Will be an outside set. There you go. Our boys are amazing at this back deep end. Taking it from the outside of the block there. There you go. We'll see a replay of it. Yeah, full turn. The yeah, shot. Yeah. Ball coming back, he's going to be doing the serving. It will be uh, Mr. Noah, Noah. Siluone. What a serve! What an awkward position to <laughs> yeah. serve it to just out on the line there, especially for someone tall. Yeah. They're going to think I have to reach a little bit further. Logan Vorster just couldn't quite get down to control his body. Yeah, exactly. So uh, being tall can somehow be a curse, maybe? Again, hard to control the serve. Not quite. This is a decent lead. Aye. Oh, oh. 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 boys. Kafainga Piro just from little errors here in Rangitoto, but we'll see how it goes throughout the match. It is indeed the first half of the first set. Back. There we go. That's better. That'll give him back a little bit of confidence. Uh, right. Forster and Timmer comes on, does a little bit of change. Schmidt. It just takes one point to change the game. And Stevenson comes on, quite a well-known name of our Rangatoto. Stevenson when it comes to volleyball. Let's have a look. He's ready for the serve now. Watch out for Schmidt in the middle up front. Keeps the ball alive. 
There we go. Taps it over, allowing Netana to get the tip there. So we're here for the New Zealand Secondary Schools Championships. It is at the, well, the arena here in Palmy, Palmy Venues. And thank you very much to Apollo Projects, New Zealand Carbon Farming, Baileys, and also Caltex. And of course, Volleyball Manor 2, Volleyball New Zealand. As we jump again. There we go, solo hit. I get the penalty hook at the Mihia to jump up to Māori, to Māori TV hooky. Get the quarter to Umai, get the Kopa Pane, Te Taia, Te Mataki Mai, Te Panga. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to stream this to the whanau at home. And yet, to the entire Mutsu, actually. I know Mai ki tēnei ki ni tukahira hira. Sitting outside there, let's see it. Off the block, no niora. Get ready for another timeout soon, I'd suggest. It's not going to be too far away if this continues. They did capture back a point here. And uh, Cuba, Rihari. Not quiet, our crowd is getting into the game also. Bit of a fading serve, that one dropped away. Regan tips it over, they're ready for it. Lands under the net. Just checking what that was for. They don't seem to care, Rangatoto. They'll take it. You can see the Rangatoto supporters are just behind the court. Some of the parents. The stands are a bit full as well. Got quite a few Rangatoto players, girls and guys, scattered around. The girls team is pretty much behind the town, like a team at the moment. Outside. Cross court there. What a beautiful spike. Oh, where? Yeah. For Henry Fulton, did it? That was superb. Just past the Rihari there. It just seems that at the moment, uh, Rangatoto a little bit flat, whereas Taolonga boys seem very assured of what they're doing. I get the Kani Kani definitely in their groove at the moment. How far? Tips it over. <laughs> Managed to get it up. Really? There we go. That's fantastic. Huh. Yeah, to get it though. I wasn't too sure that they'd actually managed to pick it up here. Here we go. Oh, that, that was the last shot. It was a nice winning shot. But, gee. It was indeed a beautiful dive. Pancake, rather, by our captain Netana. Who's up to serve, Mr. Logan? Beautiful. Their tunnel will serve it outside. But it's still hit it and manages to land it just at the edge of the court. But also our receivers making on to it. And racing away with the score. Tauranga Boys College, the A team there. We're just racing away with it. You can hear it from Rangi Toto rather. Points back there for Rangatoto. We're going to have Will Schmidt with the serve. And this will be a power serve. Watch this, Kaho. Just to say it again. Inari, it was a solid hit. Yeah. You know, he hit the ball and all of a sudden it was in the net. Now we've got uh, a boys' bounce off competition <laughs> between sets. Not totally sure how that works, but uh, we'll uh, wait and see. Uh, from Hora Fenawara College, uh, Teoti Ari, and also from, uh, we've got the next one coming down, uh, is that Cruz Tata? Who school's that from? Whanau Tahi? Māori o Te Ah, OK, we're filling in. And uh, next one there is Jesse Lubis from Middleton Grange. But Shay Asi Asiata, I believe, yeah. yeah. Hamilton Boys High School. And Caden uh, Ritai from yeah. Matamata College. And uh, finally, who's our last one there? There's Henry Salebal, I believe, for Shirley Boys. So those are the players there in the bounce off, and we'll soon find out what the bounce off is because you and I are, well, a little surprised. All we'll come back from our timeouts. 
was up with the serve here. Is uh, the big man for Rangatoto College, John Trusi. Shiki. Six point lead, Tauranga Boys has. Oh, that make good. that five. <laughs> that topspin just dropped it in. What a beautiful topspin as well, might I say. And that is John Petrucci, was it? I'm not yeah. too sure how to pronounce the surname. I don't know if I'm the client I'm watching. Yeah. So sorry. Looks Italian, surname. Yeah. Boy, that one went into the, uh, straight into the crowd. Put a bit too much oomph on that. And are we up to 20 now? We are. Yes, 20. Six point advantage. And who do we have here? It is indeed Dylan, Dylan. Griffiths. Lee Hardy will set it in the middle there, but it'll be oh. red. Great work. In the middle again. <laughs> Can't play. It will be a hit for the second. Fortunately, it is a bit low from the block. Four hits. Oh, it hit the net rather. Okay. Yes, I believe it hit the net there. Therefore, equaling a four touch. Top way called John Tene. Good call from the crowd. It was indeed a float serve. Off the block, there you go. Our boys from Rangi Tuku. You've said with the girls, they manage being a bit behind. They will bring it back. Yeah. They just get their groove. They're going to get a few points, get a few blocks, and then they'll be sorted. Yeah, they just seem to be a little bit wayward to start with, but now have found themselves. <laughs> what was that, Dave? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't let me talk about a serve. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's get ready now as we get to 21. Tauranga Boys College, the A team here. Number 15 with the serve. That's uh, Noah Sileone. Nice and high. Back out, tips it over. But that held the ball. Now, there was no hold there, though. Let's Isn't see. he sort of left or holding? We did oh. get to check on that because uh, you've got to be careful, don't you? You can't sort of lift it over yes. with the palm. You've got to have the knuckles. Knuckles or a finger. Yeah. Being able to tip it, as you could say. Stevenson now with the serve. It will be short. You can see the, the two younger looking players and uh, oh and one of the players adding in for the bounce off is uh, the big man out of Manurewa, Ariki Williams oh, no, that is still not too sure what the bounce off is but he's going to have a go at it in the, the set change we'll let you know how it goes by Samia Arihari will send it out cross court well, we'll give him 10 points for the slide, but didn't quite manage to get the ball. It's a nice little comeback. What do you yes, Rangi Toto definitely showing what they got in this first set in the later half, rather. Yeah, Rangi Toto, the North Harbour School. Some superb facilities, not facilities came out eventually uh, around the school. The Millennium Institute just next door. Off two blocks there. Outside. Slams three. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a replay on that one, please. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, boys, oops, the boys were pretty happy. That's all that matters. And here we are, just three points behind now. Managed to catch up, closing the lead. Three points behind. Serve. Down the middle. That will do it. It just about held and floated in the <laughs> air. <laughs> Waited for the ball. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's definitely floating. Like, he has a bit of a jump there, number eight from Tauranga Junior Tavalu. And uh, rugby pass back. Yeah, nice pass. Henry Filton with the serve. It goes big. Stays down. There we go. Out long. We'll tap it over. Good control. Top by Rangi Toto are now, I believe they're maybe in the testing phase at the beginning of the match. Now they can see where the weak spots are, where they can tip it. They've been doing a lot of tips recently. And managing to hit a whole lot of 
spikes three blocks. Beautiful pick up outside. Off the block. And that will do it. <laughs> what a beautiful set that was. They, they tried it twice. Here you go, number one. Didn't quite come off. We'll try it again, and he got it exactly right. That's a top play. Regan Wilson hyped up. Kohoki mai te pōro kia, Mr. Tavalu, being number eight from Tauranga. Let's see how hate momoto no e tama. Serve. Floating shot. Outside. And it will come off the block there. Now giving Tauranga Boys College the first set of our game here. All the finals go. Koreira, ko Tauranga Boys ki te rua te kaumārima taking the first set. A ko rangi toko te rangi toko college on him, mate. Rua te kaupiro. Now we are getting on with Al. And uh, 25 to 20, so we're going to have a bit of a uh, bounce off. But in the meantime, that is uh, the first set. It is at Tauranga Boys College taking it 25 to 20 over Rangatoto College. for our clients since 1973. And go! Just fill up at a participating Caltex, stack your pump discounts, and you could collect more savings on your next visit. Oh, there's another one. Getting quite good at this. Ah, filling and saving feels good. Summer Tournament 2024 on Māori Active. Find us on YouTube. No mai hoki mai e te wi whānui, e te motu whānui, Aotearoa whānui. Ko pōkai hau shō tēnei, hei kai kōrero, hei kai mātaki hoki mo te kēmu nei. Ki te papai o ea ki CET Arena. I te wā nei ki te hoki mai aroha mai. O mātou tāne ki te kōti, rangi toto ki te tai whero me te kahurangi. Uh, ko Tauranga boys, kei tawātu i tāha o te neti, being in the colour blue. Ka tai ka hoatu au, kia Dave. And Rangatoro College will be looking, wanting to uh, emulate their girls team that uh, came from one set down to actually win the Division 1 girls final in the end. It was a tough one that they had to defeat Christchurch girls. Can the boys do the same thing? They've dropped the first set. It's going to be pretty tough to come back because this Tarana team is a very well trained, knows its patterns, and they're doing a great job so far. Hi, Toto Koenga, Kordu and Ari Koyara, Ko John, Hei Kai Tono. Regan with the beautiful quick. Okay, you can see there that our boys are indeed catching on with the quicks. That uh, being Rangi Toto, sorry. So, uh, Rangi Toto. Dropping the first, 25-22. There's the serve coming in. Uh, Tauranga, far end of the court. And they get, uh, they get that one. And the seven coming back. And uh, there's uh, John De Pava, Rivero, Romalho. 
Oh boy, beautiful serve, sending it just on the outreach there, sending it to the opposite side, slamming it down over the block, it seemed like. Oh, where Dylan? Dylan Griffiths, uh, some really good play there. Looks so unassuming on the court, but gee, that was powerful. Here we are, just holding the lead by one now, Tauranga boys, Tavalu serves. Send it out. And will get shut down completely by Regan Wilson. Okatsi. Over Mekite on all power. All right. The crowd Okatsi. loved that one, didn't they? And they're loving it. They know uh, good volleyball when they see it. And that was very good volleyball. Outside there. Will be a chance ball. No, gets it off the block. Outside. Cross courts and the slams are through. On the line being Logan Walster. What a hit. Oh, Giant Tim is saying, no, we don't need you yet. Number six. This is an interesting formation he's doing. He's got no shorter guy to do all the cleaning up. That may fall for Rangatoto to uh, Ramalho, perhaps. Aye. But you see, there's no one there to actually do that cleaning up. I call it the man we ought to be Maybe Schmidt, Schmidt will do. Will do. Top play outside, it's through the block, keeps it alive, Modi Ora. I'm sure there's about five shots in there. Oh, he would have had it, oh my, sorry, wrong reaction there by me. Just seen a very good opening opportunity there yep. for the set. Unfortunately, it doesn't go the way they wanted. Well, Rango Toto somehow stay in that one, I'm not totally sure how. Hi. Joshua Perks now with the serve. Didn't do much of a run up. Oh, into the net. I don't actually know how Rangatoro managed to stay in this, <laughs> this second set. Regan <laughs> Wilson. He's been uh, pretty decent for uh, Taunga. Uh, good match so far. Lee Hari will send it out far. And will cut through the block. The angle that he goes for. Definitely works for him. See what there you go. He goes for the cross court angle and manages to break through the block, hitting the side arm of an opponent, therefore flying out of the court. Cuba Rihari here with the serve for Rangatoto, the captain. Kapai Kerunga, Kemuri, Regan, the hot to Boro. Out back. Off the block. Managed to keep the ball alive. And it'll land back court away. Te kahahoki o te nei o ngā tīma. So just uh, toning up a little bit of sweat there on the court. And we can tell you the final four for the bounce off that's going to happen in the next set anybody can actually see it we may see a little bit of that but we'll tell you we've got Erika Williams uh, Cruz Tata uh, Tiauti Ari and also Henry Salabaro there go. there's a chance ball here for our boys in the blue same it down but Rihari is there Somehow they Let's tried. See. Is it going to get it back? Not, Not quite. quite. Almost. Great effort. Some great reactions from uh, Rihari. Oh, Rangi Toto definitely proud of his teammates there. They managed to chase after it. They didn't give up for the last second. And Narira ko Dylan Heikai Kono. Rihari will set it in the middle there. And oh, Schmidt. Man. Schmidt, yes, indeed. He put it away. No one, <laughs> no doubt about that. So the big crowd here, lots of the students taking up the stands all around as well. And, you know, some of the teams may or may not have left, but uh, only a few of them because there's lots of spectators here. Ooh, just, just big. Outside, oh, just outside the line there. It's good that we have our, our flag holders there watching the line thoroughly. Top right. Noah Seluone, he It will be a float down the middle, giving it to Rihari. Yeah, it goes around the back. Tips it. 
good control because he goes up here, the replay, and then just holds the shot. Almost holds, thinking that he's going to do a powerful shot instead. Just takes his time on it. I think it is now serving. The coach is Johan Timmer for Langotodo, main coach. For Tauranga, it is Nick Christie, the head coach. Oh, that fly. is out. Solid serve, definitely. Yeah. He has definitely got a swing on him, that guy. Kapai Samia, he kaitono i te poro i tenei wā. Number 12 for the serve. <laughs> really interesting watching uh, the play here with Rangatoro uh, really just getting scraps given to them. They're, they're not really able to earn the points at the moment. But they are taking a lot of these errors into account. Picked up, well done, perfect. Oh, there we go, another quick in the middle, I'll do it. Yeah, he, he hangs. <laughs> it's like airtime. <laughs> he's, he's levitating for at least a good five seconds there. Yeah. And he's got plenty of air time. Now, have you figured out uh, how players take their numbers? You know, is someone going to say, I want to be 23, I want to be like Mike or, you know, <laughs> whoever. I've seen 77 out there, I've seen a few big numbers. Yeah. Some schools seem to take a few of the bigger ones, other ones more regulation numbers. The 12 seems to be the the bigger person quite often. I, I have seen 82, 83, yeah. 84 in the team. So not too sure. Oh, what a lovely call out there. <laughs> that was a little surprising. Just let that one go. Almost hopped over it. Aye. So number eight coming out. Now Junior Tavalu goes way out of the court. Will be a nice float there. Dihari will send it in the middle, slamming it down. Modiora, the Koma Koru, Kowai Huki Kweko, Joshua Perks, Tera. I know Rangataro in the lead of the set, but they still have that trailing feeling about them that yeah. they're behind. No, I agree, I agree. So I looked back at the points and I was thinking, oh wow, it is indeed Rangataro in the lead here. Yeah. Not discouraging, but just commenting on it. Yeah. Koi Huki Number six. Mr. Stevenson. They're leading, but they don't feel like they're leading. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> Tips it over, but they're ready for it this time. Outside set. Oh, Managed to keep it alive. Beautiful work. We'll send it out far. far. Rohomai breaks it through the block. There we are. That is a good work there of Mr. Dillon. Uh, reward there for the Rangatoto girls. It looks as though they're passing around either potato chips or cookies. Yeah, it seems like a bag of Doritos. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Well, you won. You're allowed that. Kaupai ko hokimai a Regan Wilson. Hey, Kai Tono will give us a beautiful top spin. <laughs> and I've stolen your power here. Yeah, you have. You've cursed him. <laughs> Rihari here with the serve for Rangatoro, the captain. Heading the net, still manages to pick it up. Well done. A quick down the middle, I'll do it again. That is something that our boys in Tauranga have been doing quite well this game. A lot of quicks, and it's good chemistry, it's working. A lot of noise here in our stadium. Dylan Griffiths with the serve. It's a bit of a softer one, which is sometimes the hardest shot to hit. Oh. If you hit it too soft, it is going to be... Is he trying to get out of the way of that? A lot of... A lot of food has been entered into our stadium. It's outside of the camera, unfortunately. Regan sits it down the line. Uh, it's too big. Just out. So somehow, Rangatoto have come out to a two-point advantage. This is the thing that they did in the semi-finals, and uh, 
the Hillcrest boys, a couple of them doing the scoring, might not like, like me mentioning that they were behind most of the way, yet they somehow won. And that's what happens if you're coached well and if you feel confident in your own ability to keep going. It doesn't have to look beautiful. Oh. Winning ugly. <laughs> winning ugly is winning, I guess you could say. Out back. Tips it over, but they're ready for it. Lee Hardy sends it out far. Oh. Breaks through the block. That wasn't ugly. That was just a very good shot. Getting a little bit better and picking up the lead. And we've got a timeout. Right, Rangi Toto has managed to take a bit of the lead here. Te kauma arima kia Rangi Toto. Te kauma tahi kia Tauranga Boys College. Let's have a look. The crowd relatively silent as they wait for this timeout to be completed. Big crowd in. 198 teams. It's been running strong since, well, was it Sunday night? And uh, they had the welcome. All the teams in here look fantastic. You can imagine oh. all of the teams streaming in. And uh, the councillors, Palmerston North Council, we should say thank you to them as well. They've certainly done well out of it. I've seen quite a few teams walking around town and uh, trying to get into restaurants <laughs> and things like that, <laughs> cafes. A few of them done very well. There's a bit of a conversation there. So yeah, last night, Nine Eye College were in one of the Chinese restaurants just around the corner, eating late, and uh, I'm sure the restaurant did very well out of that. <laughs> hungry players. My hungry teams from the week that they had, a week that they still have going. What's uh, going on here? We're just checking with the, the bench, and we're all good. All right, this is uh, Logan Vorster with the serve. Big. Send it out back. Well, I believe that he did cross our back line before jumping. Therefore, so the, the rule there. What are you What are you suggesting about the rule that they have to have a certain number of players? Where? Oh, I don't know So, our line there going throughout the middle of the court, being oh, so sorry. How do you explain this? On one side of the court, you have the line flowing through. Yeah. Our back players aren't able to go beyond that line and jump over our next level. Right. So that means when jumping from the back line, you must jump. So when number forward. seven, five, and nine, All right. you're saying that they've got to stay back a little bit or they can't jump forward? Yeah, so they can't go beyond the line and then jump forward. Okay. Is that before the servers come over or...? or Rotations will only happen right. after the serve has been hit okay. or come over the net. Yeah. So once the, the the point has really got into it, you, everybody can be up at the net if they really wanted to. Yeah. Okay. But not to start. All right, all right. You'll see our boys huddling up in different positions depending on rather defense or offense position. Position over. Kapai kite on the boys in Tauranga as they huddle together waiting. Yeah. The ball is hit, they run. Okay. So now they are able to get into their positions. Any call was made touching the net, I believe. Giving it to Tauranga boys, but Rangi Toto still maintaining a bit of a lead here. Tips it over, but Netan is there. Regan, off the block. Regan will get it for the second hit. It's only a bit far. Kapai koe hoki tēnei ko John Pichusi Pichuki. Hey Kaitono. Netana gets the second and it will be a quick that is blocked. <laughs> Didn't quite get the timing of floating this time. And uh, Zalanga Toto College just move out to a good advantage, heading towards 20, five-point lead. Petruki. Oh, he's got it. He's got he's an ace. Got it. Oh, my goodness. Poke. 
pretty stoked about that one as well. It's a good opportunity, a good time to do it. He's been fighting hard to stay in it all the way. And on this occasion, serves it out to the left. Kapoi, Kamatahi. Metana there will be a hit though. Still manages Ra. Rihari or Homoi. And it will be Big. long. Kapoi, Tarun, the boy scraping by. Just five points now ahead Rangi Toto is. We'll see how we manage. There is a bit of sweat on our line there. Our boys are working hard out there on the courts. Kapoi, Karanga here at Atenga Kaimatiki. Our crowds are indeed calling out, watching. Henry Fulton with the serve. Oh, Taranga boys. Rihari sends it back. And there was a touch there by Oliveira, number six being Mr. Bailey Montero. There we go. And a substitute now for Taranga boys. But it is Rotoro. No, it is not Rotoro. It is Ananga Toto. Ananga <laughs> Toto with the serve. And lands in the back end of the court, giving an ace there. Over for John Pepaiba, Oliveira, Ramalho. Bit of a bit of a mouthful that name. Yeah, he's got a few names there. And uh, looking now for another set. This has been a good opportunity for Luanga Toto. They've uh, come back stronger now. They've started actually picking up a few winning points rather than just the the scraps. So oh, that one goes long. But uh, 22 to 16, decent lead. We'll try and wrap this one up and make it one all. Hamish. Hey, Hamish for the serve. The Hari out. Slams it down. Beautiful hits. Let's see that on replay. Kapoi Stevenson is indeed coming in for number 13 there being Joshua Perks. He will be our pinch server in this situation. Managing to try to score himself a few serves whilst on the courts. Kapoi now just two more points there for the set point. Picked up quite nicely. Outside. Slams it off the block and lands out. Good on them. Yeah, Taronga. Just uh, hold the flow for a moment. Oh, it's been a bit of hard work for them. All right. They're not yet at set point. So Tauranga boys can still manage to make a breakthrough here. Yeah, we have uh, Khan Carlton. Really see him in the muck, match much lefty. And there we go, Mr. Schmidt. With a beautiful quick down the middle over at Hokirie. And we go to set point. Set point now coming back. Uh, Rihari with uh, the serve to take it to uh, one set apiece. <laughs> what a reaction we have here in the stadium. Number four, Dylan, with a spectacular spike there down the line. Again, a bit yelling into the mic. They're probably yelling out of your speakers at home. What a beautiful spike there displayed by Dylan. Kamaitewa Hikiaia with the serve. Yeah, Dylan Griffiths uh, putting it up. And reply, it's Vorsa. Right, it is. No. It is. Have they taken it? And no. I'm just waiting, wait for it. Confirmation call. I believe it, it does belong to Tauranga. Yeah. It over. Slams it off. Well done. That is Noah Seliwane. <laughs> the ball was coming over to his side of the nets, and then he managed to slam it down. And now, Rangitoto, Karanga Hiaite, Raonga, timeouts, timeout from 
Bungie took all because Tango Toto had the advantage quite a way through and still yes. have the advantage, but yeah. they had it throughout that set where you thought they were going to run away with it. There we go. <laughs> the crowd bored or they just, ah, oh, they're a bit slow on that one. I think you know to keep the the fano kotahi mato. Yeah, that's much better. Beautiful to see. Got to keep yourself amused. <laughs> oh, we're a bit slow up here. Sorry, boys. <laughs> and about the to ways to Dylan Griffiths. They carry on on the court. Amuses everybody else. Tips it over. They've read it. They've seen it coming. Tips it. Kapaya will be back out. Forster. Well done picking that up. Modi Ora. Net on outside. Tips it over and managed to catch it in the block. Throws it far. And there it is. Flying underneath the court. 21. Kitoed on the boys. That's got the crowd going. Either that or the Mexican way did. One or the other. <laughs> but uh, they're into it now. Dylan Griffiths again. Serving can Rangatoto close it out. They've had a couple of opportunities. Oh, it just fades mm. a little bit. Shots down completely <laughs> by Neto oh, They're getting pumped up. They're coming back. Oh, I don't care. I'm also getting pumped up here. Mata Kiana, Iene Tama. Now it is just one point Rangatoto has for the set. Another time out. Oh yeah, for oh, oh. Got the crowd going, a couple of big shots there. There's still two points behind, still a set point for Rangatoto College, but those couple of shots there, they got it going. Oh, yeah. And uh, Tim is pointing it out, saying, come on guys, stay with us, it's all good. <laughs> the wave has returned to our arena. Yeah. <laughs> Any opportunity, have a bit of fun. <laughs> the Rangatoto girls weren't enthusiastic about that. Hard to raise their arms again. Kahara Tony. Aye, Kahara Tony. Dylan Griffiths with the serve for Tabanga boys. Floats it in. Rihari. Forster yeah, puts it away this time. Kapai Koyara te wahanga suaru e o tēne o ngā temi whakahira hira i te whainara. Rangi toto o rea te kaumaru ngā tauranga boys 22. Now one set each of each other's bouts. Well, it's no surprise that we're one set all, but it is Rangi Toto coming back. And we're all even Stevens here in this final boys divisional one final. Funding is a real challenge. Uh, we know that a lot of schools face that ongoing and the reality is if you go to a lower decile school in New Zealand you are less likely to be able to afford to participate in sport. Obviously having come through it myself with kids and, and being one of those t kids myself who played sport, I know how much it defined who I was. And now being able to go, I can't fix it all but we can help and try and give to those people who are going through a really tough time. It's a real privilege, but you know, for us, we want to see others get involved in it. This is not a selfish thing for Apollo. This is about how can we get, um, whether it's construction or other businesses, to get involved in this. There's a lot of things that kids miss out on. And so to have businesses step up and want to be involved and to help is a game changer for schools. It really is. Hey. Sport is about more than just the game. It's about going from teammates to best mates. It's the high fives and helping hands. That's why Caltex is proud to help fuel school sports. Summer Tournament 2024 on Māori Active. Find us on YouTube. 
Ka pai tēnā rā tātou e te ui e te motu O hoki mai rā tātou ki tēnei o ngā kemi whakahirahira Ka tahi anua mātou ko whai wā Ka tāku e tētahi kemi Ngā ko te bounce off tērā engari Ki te hoki atu ki te kemi mui a tātou A ko tauranga boys tatake ki te kāmera Ko rangi toto kei tawa atu taha Now, there is one set each now, isn't there? So, we're in a bit of a predicament, aroha mai I will be if I miss the flight But in the meantime it has been an exciting final. A uh, bit of a comeback late stages there for Tauranga. Put a bit more excitement into it. And at one stage, it was really running away. Rangatoto looks as though they'd sweep through that second set and said they had to fight for it. Oh, the Bounces back off beaten. the chest of the captain. And the bang goes out. So we're any closer to actually thinking we've got a winning side or is it still way up in the air? Definitely lingering a bit, leaning towards our Tauranga boys here. Definitely displayed a lot of dominance of power throughout our match. Well, don't forget Tauranga are used to winning these things. <laughs> and also like the, you know, like the girls team, they have the confidence in themselves. Oh, okay. I'm sure Tauranga do as well. But just seeing them come back so often. By Mr. John Takomatahi, hey Kai Tono. Net tunnel will set it out to Regan. Over the net. Rihari. It's a bit long. The shot was on. Aye. Up by Koterua. Kia rangi toto. Kia tahi, kia tauranga boys. Serve there, Fulton. And just outside yet again. Beautiful cross hits happening. It's a bit long, unfortunately. Now tying our points here. Giving Mr. Fulton another chance to serve. Still managing. There we go. Mr. Junior Tabalu. Tipping it over. Definitely a wall being created there in the middle. We have high jumpers, strong hitters. Oh. 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 And a big thank you to, again, all the volunteers and all the supporters, the players themselves as well, all of the schools. From way up north, we're talking about Bay of Islands, to Dunedin, Otago Basin as well. Oops. Passing that one to the referee. Oh. Also, thank you to you, Pakaiho, and uh, Gareth here, and the streamers. We've been uh, streaming and now on uh, Māori television. Shot. Over. And that is a block. Oh, he wore it in the face as well. Norton, uh, block solid. He's been so reassured, Norton, but that one just went straight into his face. Aye. Hard to get. He is, a, he is a team member of one of the strongest teams in our country, so he's definitely going to move on with that, keeping it in mind. Ngari ko Tavalu tēnei hei kai tono. Tavalu for the serve. Sending it outside. Tips it over, but he's ready. And again, <laughs> can't manage to tip it over the block there. Oh. And the third tip will yeah. manage. Third time, in the first two, he was equal to the task. And again, Rangatoto just seemed to be Hanging in there and leading by one. Bringing in Stevenson now. Number six in the red. Now heading to the service line. It is a bit long, unfortunately. Down the middle, Schmidt. 
pings it. Absolutely pings on that one. Reliable hitter, Schmidt is down the middle. I'm a little bit surprised at times that they don't use him more regularly. I oh, think, yes, I agree. It's, he's there in the middle, quick, reliable, and yet I've only seen him hit three or four times now. Stevenson with the serve. We'll get up for it. And he'll hit the antenna first. So now escaping out to a three-point advantage. As uh, Stevenson ready to serve. Coach Tim is almost on the court. He'd love to be playing right now. My <laughs> Loves the game. Passionate for the game. Megan sets it out far. Nice to pick it up, Ronnie Tutu. Comes off the block. Beautiful blocks we've seen. Managing to pick them up also. There you go, yet another. There you go, tips it over. Will be Alta Regan. It's over, picks it up. Well done. Great defensive work. Oh, oh it's Beautiful After dive executed. Out of my Dave. After all that. Uh, great defensive work. And looking for a bit of a towel down, but uh, yeah, the defensive work there from Tauraga uh, withstood around about four shots of them. Kapoi leading by four now, Rangi Toto at eight, whilst the Tauranga boys at four. And we are clear to go. Stevenson with the serve. Cross court there. We'll send back to Regan. One block gets blocked. Sends it down and that'll do it. Time on uh, gain a point back. It's been hard work in this particular set. Rangototo just escaping out to four or so points. Three on this occasion. Who we got now with the serve coming in there, Pakaiho? Akuyara uh, called Regan Wilson. He's pretty, been pretty defense. solid for them, hasn't he? Yes, definitely. Has some good tops, top spin serves. Mr. Schmidt finally gets a block. And uh, just a contact there with the net. Was a net instead, causing the four touches. All right. Hukimaya Regan had quite gone with the ball. Regan back for the serve. Lovely top spin, beautifully picked up. We sent out off the block and can't do much about that one. Logan Forster going up. He's got the height and plenty of power on that one. Rangatoto College, a uh, pretty well-known school for a lot of their sport. With Mr. Rihari, our captain, to serve. Nipping the near pancake has been made. Well done, surviving. Keeping the ball up and alive, Modi Ora. Kapwai is still keeping the ball in play here. We will manage. Near tunnel will send it out back. Still managed to block that one. And that will do it. No, I, didn't actually, I didn't actually see that block coming. And neither did the team, I think. Now turning the boys. Rangi Toto pulling away in the lead again. With our captain Rihari to serve. Tsukuru Namai. What a serve. On the dump. There we go. Timeout has indeed been called with a five point lead from Rangi Koko now at 11. Tauranga boys at six. Timeout has been called indeed from our Tauranga boys. Trying to stop that momentum from flowing. You know, Rangi Toto is getting a bit far in the lead here. They don't want to do that mid early in the match. So they do want to try to catch up as fast as they can. Hingarira, kete hinga itawa nei. You can see there, Rangatoto in their huddle. Aye. E o hio mano mano, just brainstorming, seeing what they can do. Whilst they are in the lead here, they still need to manage a few more you know, mishaps that might be in place. Kapwai karanga mai tane mai, and we're back onto the court with Rangi Toto to serve, giving it back to our captain, Ako Rihari Tera. Haruru ano te whare, ki te hama mai, getting loud in here. 
lot of enthusiastic uh, players behind both teams. They're watching the boys' division final. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. He's got some real key shots for them, has he? All right. But that's thanks to our setter slash captain, Nair Tanasamiya. He did go up for a fake dump there, but managed to set it from it, giving a beautiful set to our boy Dylan, which is now serving. And that will be number four now. Just over the net, barely. Tonawatsu Kiwaho. Slams it off the block and keeps the ball. Unfortunately not. Tengarira Ireira Takaro, the thought was there, trying to keep the ball in play. Five points ahead now, Rangitoto. And serve. Well done. Netana sends it back out to our receiver, through the block, managed to pick it up, Modiora. A high set, tipped, Regan is picking it up though. Well, Able to head off the block, nice rebound there. Reset, keeps the ball in play. I believe there was a net touch involved or something underneath the net. And checking on that score, it's four points the difference, it is correct. All right. Coming back for the serve, Noah Selaoni. There we go, a nice quick out to do it. Here we go, let's see that on replay, come. Atahua. Hook out to the portal right here, Mr. Schmidt. Let's see some solid serves coming through. And there we go, I just spoke it into existence. And uh, that was not my fault, trust me. <laughs> I have no power up here as a commentator. What's the portal to our captain there, Netana Samia, number 12 in Tauranga Boys. It's the setup. Outside. Get oh. shut down. Junior Tavalu. Tamo te wahi e tama aukatsi. See it again? All right, Kereira. And uh, neither side been able to really escape in this one. You had uh, Rangotoro hitting up nice lead, but again, it is uh, Tamaga boys coming back at them. There we are. A good, reliable, quick. Both teams have been showing astonishing skills as setters, as hitters, as players overall. And we've seen some amazing quicks. It's mind-blowing. Four-point lead here for Rangatoto. That one goes flying out the back. The minutes to control it, bring it back in. Here it is. Again, wait for it. Oh. And the call is, let's see, being challenged. Tim is just saying, come on. And that's the coach saying, it's okay, just carry on. So we've got, uh, what is it? It's the four five point lead, is it? Oh, yes, five point lead. Four. Four. Three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're good. The screen here is switching up a little bit. Now, yeah. four point lead there, Rangi Toto? Yeah. All right. Rangi Toto, as we mentioned, and the North Harbour region of Auckland. Great sports facilities, great athletes have been through there. Sean Marks, actually. One of the, really? Yeah, NBA's Sean Marks. Uh, now Brooklyn Knicks, uh, Brooklyn Nets, uh, was the general manager, oh, former yeah. NBA player. That's a tip it off the block, keeping it in the air. Modiora. Tipping it over, Netan is ready for it. Unfortunately, oh, is he injured? No, he's okay, just oh. sliding, just needs a rest. Mr. John, number seven, John Tebaiva. Bit of a sweat mark on the ground there. How boys are working hard, it seems. Rangatoto College, seeing if they can do the double again like they did last year. Both girls and boys, very strong. And too far. Oh, 
Kwae ko Junior, Tavalu tēnei. Hei kai tonu i te pōro Tavalu for the serve. Will be short, unfortunately. And a couple of errors creeping in to... Uh, well, creeping into Tauranga in particular in this particular mm -hmm. set as the ball rolls on. And who's going to do that? It will be... What's going on? Stevenson to serve. Stevenson. Oh, floating shot. Outside. Seems a bit fast. We'll manage to tip it over. There you go. And the slam. Calls out. Closing in the points there. Now four points behind with Mr. Regan Wilson here serving the ball. Rangatoto were edging their way towards... Uh, edging their way uh, towards uh, was it the third set. Solid. Beautiful hit there. We'll see a replay. Let's see. Well done. It will be a libero set. A beautiful set, really. Rihani tips it down the middle, but is there to get blocked. Schmidt sends it out. Regan's there. Their tunnel will send it out far again. Breaking through the blockers there, getting another point. And here he is, getting ready. Dylan Griffiths has played a very important role for Tauranga. Simple serve down the middle. Oh. Beautiful hit. Oh, come on. Netana. <laughs> and that comes off the block there. Netana will send it back out. There oh. we go. Hits Lovely. the block. And then the antenna. Let's give it a replay. Keep this up. We'll be going until about midnight. <laughs> Just call in sick for tomorrow, Dave. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know if I can quite do that for a 5 a.m. start. Uh, in the meantime, it is a timeout with Rangatoto College. They've had the opportunities to wrap up this set. But Taolonga coming back at them quite strong. And all the spectators here, all the players, they've had a big five days of volleyball. Definitely getting tired from this long week of volleyball. Definitely can see a lot of smiling faces as well as tired ones. But our kids did enjoy this amazing week. Be interesting to see uh, how many of these players end up in provincial teams for the uh, interprovincials coming up in Wellington. And uh, that's going to be Queen or King's birthday weekend. So that's in June. Oh, that's going to be quite exciting. Yeah, that'll be uh, a big one there. Uh, Steve Atfold said there's about 15, 11 or 15 different unions or provinces. Oh, that's a, great, that's a block. Great one too. Hyped up about that. So I had to keep my cool there. I did do a silent yell. You were about to be uh, cheering. <laughs> Almost had me there. A block is all it takes for me. A couple of the supporters, I think, were challenged to do some burpees. Uh, they just did this. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, picked up nicely. The tunnel will get it. We'll make it through the block. <laughs> Tauranga coming back. There we go. Tauranga now maintaining. This is unusual for Ranga Toto to let teams back in. Like at the Karanga Mai Te Whare Nei, the arena Did is. even go over there? Yeah, they didn't even seem like it. And they bounced off him there. Head off the blocker onto our strike, sit back out, giving the Tauranga boys the point there. Uh, Tauranga seem pretty hyped about it. <laughs> Another set of burpees being done <laughs> by our boys on the side, unfortunately can't see them. But Dylan has been quite comfortable here in the sitting position. Please, okay, I thought it was going to happen again. <laughs> and that'll show it. 
<laughs> Just sort of, yeah, try it again. <laughs> it was indeed Henry Fulton sitting up. <laughs> and uh, we edge slowly, slowly to 20 in uh, this, the third set. Remember, it's one set all, and that one's gone. The first set to Taronga, uh, that was 25-20. Second set, though, went to Rangi, 25-22. Not much to separate these two teams. In fact, nothing. There we go. Serve. Back. Off the block. Well done. Kavalu doing some astonishing blocks this game. That is probably his fourth, or oh, there it is, his fourth or fifth block in this game. Well, I'm looking at it and thinking, how did Tauranga get ahead? <laughs> 20 oh. now. 20 to 19, Tauranga. Tips it over. Netana sets it out. Through the block. Lee Hari from the before the back. Comes off the net. Now Tauranga with a two point lead. Oh. Any timeouts? Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's a big time for a timeout. You can see the boys are hyped up. Tauranga, yeah, all real hyped up. I definitely ready there. Kwarite Rato. Kafai Tabaka. Wilson. He's fired up. Boys all smiling. And Getting in that huddle, listening to the coaches. The hardest thing here is to actually control that emotion. Boys, yes, you're leading. It's all good. You still have to win another set if you take this one. So looking at uh, the teams coming back on. And we see here for Taronga. Serving will be Dylan Griffiths. He's also got uh, Regan Wilson having a chat to him. 15, Noah Siloni. He's going to serve, sorry. Uh, at the front, we have uh, number 12, uh, Netana Samia. Seven's up there as well. That's Henry Fulton. And also number eight, Junior Tavalu. Serve. Makes it in. There we go. Now with a three point lead. What a way to bring it back from a timeout, the boys. <laughs> oh, no. Not exactly the what. The feeling that you have for letting that go. It's going to stick with you. Gee. But you can't let it discourage you. I can't get young Aingua. I can't get to the end of the year. I can't get to the Serve. Send it out. Down that's the line, that's a beautiful line hit there. <laughs> Big old girls from Rangitoto cheering on <laughs> their fellow, their yeah, fellow boys. Schoolmates. Big school though. 3,200 students or thereabouts. That's too wide. Schmidt tries for too much. 23-20. And now we have the uh, captain for Tauranga boys, Natana Samia. We also have strong hitters up the front here ready. Let's see. Tips it over, but Natana's there. Out back. Oh. Gets blocked. That one's hyped up. That is Mr. John number 11 looking back towards who he blocked as well. Displaying a bit of dominance, Mickey. <laughs> by John Petrucci here. Serve. Netana will set it down the middle. And it is a bit long. One point behind oh. now, Rangitoto. This has been one of those sets where it's just... No. And there is a touch on the block. Really? Giving it to Tauranga. But a challenge been redone. Yeah. You can see the captain's gone across and we've also got Timmer who's come up to the second referee. The coach for Rangi not overly happy. Captain's checked it out. Our flag man did give the, the call over to our ref up on the So I really need to maintain focus for this last. Set point. Picks it up. Well done. Netano will pass it out. Swings it over. Boy's not finished yet. 
Tips it, but Netana is there. There will be a chance for <laughs> for Rangitoto. Comes oh. off. Well done. Takes it out. We got no. What? And the ruling. It's a top referee. Not sure exactly what the ruling is, but it means that Rangitoto get the serve. He was right onto it. Mr. John Tepaiva now serving. Whew. That was one heck of a point. With Tauranga wanting to close it out, take this second meet, that the third set, and lead by two sets to one. They didn't manage to, but opportunity now. It's on outside. Off the block, lands oh. in the court. Oh, oh, the captain popped up. Oh Look at my it. goodness. Stomps his foot. Timeout. <laughs> Tauranga with just a set, a point away from ending our set here. Rangitoto, two points away. It is indeed our finals. So not really surprised that our games will be as long as they are. Engari aroha mai ki ākoe, ki ākoe he rere rangi, you do have a flight. Me hoki atu koe ki te mahi ako. We do have work in the morning. But our boys down here just, they just want to play some volleyball, Dave. I'm sorry to, sorry to say. No problem, that's uh, an exciting, exciting match. And... It's just whether Tananga can actually take this. One point away from set point, one point away to tie it, Rangitoto is. Picked up. And the quick in the middle will give Tauranga the second set of the game here. Ka pai. Tauranga boys rua te kau marima. Rangitoto rua te kau maturu. One set each. Ka mau te wahi ka pai. We are going to be switching sides for our sets at the moment. Uh, well, coming back, uh, just a few moments, a couple of minutes in fact, <laughs> with the uh, fourth set. Found the place. That's a good start. Was by my great grandfather. And go! Just fill up at a participating Caltex, stack your pump discounts, and you could collect more savings on your next visit. Oh, there's another one. Getting quite good at this. Ah, filling and saving feels good. Summer Tournament 2024, a Māori Active, find us on YouTube. No mai hoki mai ki te wāhanga, tua whānei, o tēnei kemi whakahirahira ki te koti, o te papai o ea, ko ngā whainara hoki tērā. Rangi toto, kei te tata ake ki te kāmera i roto i te tai whero, a ki tau atu taha, ko Tauranga boys. I te Tauranga, beautiful way to start the game with a quick spot there, aroha mai Dave. And the crowd right in behind that one. <laughs> wow, great point to start there for Tauranga boys. And, uh, number of the spectators, some have had to go out for dinner or maybe catch a flight or <laughs> who knows what <laughs> to get home. 
maybe the same one as me. Oh, that one just tips off the net. Now let's see if they can lay it up, but that's oh, a superb reply. Perks coming up. What happens if a foot comes to you? Oh, you just send one back. Why not? Kapoi Koi, hooky ten in. Number seven from Rangitoto will be John Tepaiva. Now serving. Picked up quite nicely. Down the middle for a quick in return. Picks it up. Kiwaho. Ready to break through the gap in the block there. Goes through the middle of the two blockers. To find the gap somehow. A little bit more intensity coming in for both teams. Lots of advice here for the Langatota player from the subs. Oh, keeping it up just barely. There you go. The clock out to do it. Conversation going on between our captain and the ref. I'm not too sure what about. So Samia. Samia. The captain. Goes across. There go. Got that nice little curve on the, the, the spike there. Aye. Just go straight and then curve away a little bit. Good on our mahi on our te taumatane, te taumata division tahi. Fainara, uh, called Tavalu Tene, serving Tavalu. The Hari will send it out, tipping oh. it over, but Netana there is ready. Through the block, Regan Wilson. Their yeah, crowd getting, wow, well, a little bit rocked up a bit. <laughs> a little bit rowdy. Yeah, that's good to have. Maybe they're sensing something. Sensing an upset as such, perhaps. Outside. Lands out. It, it there was a touch. Apparently not. Although we're looking. Tim was pointing across at this man. And. Well, so we came close to a touch, I'm sure, but it's not advice that way. The ref halts the call of the coach. And we carry on with Tavalu as a server. Picked it up, Rihari will chuck it through the middle. Picked up quite nicely. Oh. Ooh. What do you think? We're right in line with that yeah, one. Yeah, I think that was... That hit the line, line right? Line, yeah. And we've got the second ref coming across. Kitty, kitty. What's going to say there? Not sure anything's really going to change. Well, maybe. Let's see. Points still going there to Rangitoto. It did seem to have touched the line, especially from up here, but we continue with our ref score. Uh, Tim is actually holding on to the ball right now. <laughs> Not sure the coach was meant to be holding on to the ball. <laughs> it will be Stevenson with the serve. Let's see how we manage. Stevenson. It's down the middle. Picks the set. Oh, gentle. Very gentle eye. Oh, that was superb touch. Siluwani takes ownership of that point and just touches it over into no man's land. Tauranga take the lead in this, the fourth. Lihari. There's the touchback. The Clash. There we go. Nathan is there to keep it away. <laughs> and Schmidt. <laughs> Too much of a swing that guy has here again. <laughs> Going through the block and our Libero there. Oh, no <laughs> where? Sometimes there's not much subtlety to his game, but you don't need it when you can pound the ball like that. <laughs> it's just like bang, it's gone. There he is. It's a <laughs> and that is Rihari now. He's almost the executioner in your team. The, he's not even the biggest guy there, but he's the, the powerful one. There we go. The big 
pitch here. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. The strength put into that one. Giving it out to Dylan. So who's going to be able to string together three to four, possibly even five points in a row? Right, we can probably rely either on Regan from Tauranga. Definitely. Oh, mm. Vorsten puts that one wide, goes up for the big shot. Takes it on the angle. The angle's too big. Regan has shown that when he's serving, he managed to stack up a bit of points there, as well as Dylan, actually. I believe it was Dylan I was looking for, but he is serving, so. Hurry, hurry. Keep a hole. The set. From the back, and it lands outside the court there, unfortunately. Didn't connect with anybody on the way through. I was just thinking it may have connected with someone on the way through. It didn't. Drive someone through. They're trying to set it back. Beautiful set from that position as well. Yeah. It comes there, look at him hyped up. Shoulders up. I really want to see that again. Unfortunately, Kare Fai. The boy. Yes. is definitely a skilled setter we've seen during this game. A lot of beautiful back sets. Seroni to take the serve. It's all out aggression from some of these players. Gone wide. Wide, oh, long, you name it. <laughs> Whatever it is, it went out yeah. to the court. Giving number 15 here, Kuwai Hukupera, Siliwane. Bit of noise coming from uh, the crowd or maybe just the subs. Look at that fading well serve. Oh, Schmidt did show that oh, little touch. touch. Didn't realize he was capable of such things. Yeah. Top one managed to hit the net there, tips it over. Big Lock. point. Oh, Schmidt sends it nice and high. On the back, there we go. <laughs> Forster says, well, I missed the previous one, so this one just going straight to middle. Don't care who's in the way. <laughs> Let's have a look now at Schmidt. He generally has a very solid serve. Usually pretty quick, that one's low. Oh my goodness, there you go. He has the height. Yeah. He had the opening there, and he decided it's about to... Uh, Six foot six, one nine five, uh, maybe one nine seven. Ball comes back. Schmidt coming on serving. One point behind. And oh no, tries for too much. Remember the Rangatoto College girls won the girls division one final. That one other. Uh, I was over Christchurch girls. Seemed like a long time ago. My squads, four sets. Jihari sends it out, tips it over, but they're ready. Oh, that's a hard one to get. Oh, came in. Oh, managers. Look at, look at Regan there. <laughs> came down the oh. Regan Wilson, hunting around the court. Taking a minute, there <laughs> he is. Look at him, hyped up, loving it. Top way, our captain, Netana Samia, serving. Picks it up. Oh. He, oh no, the lack of communication, the captain called. He's not going to calm them down. Need uh, a towel or something here to wipe up that sweat. Back to a four point lead and we get a timeout. Tauranga keyed up for this now. You can just see communication there, the captain going back. And let's have a look now. 12 8. And uh, we'll be ready now out of this timeout. And let's get ready. You can see the timeout with Rangatoto. They're getting together. They're thinking, how can we come back from this? Tauranga boys, the far end and the blue and white. We have Rangatoto in the maroon with the blue stripe down the front. Two sets to one. The first set to Tauranga, 25-20. The second set. The Ranga Toto 25-22. However, Tauranga came back 25-23. The third, that's a floating serve. We've got the advantage here. Four points. That's a good block. They kicked it up. Oh, interesting shot. It's a little bit too 
far out wide. And up. Here it is again. That's superb. Number seven takes it. Henry Fulton. The big boy. The big shot. On the angle. Hard to get that one back. You can see. And right at the moment it is Regan Wilson who's prowling around like a big cat. Caged cat, lion or a tiger or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. Oh, possibly could have left it. see the beautiful play that happened. Lee Hardy dives for it. Over the blocks. Too far? It is. Destroys the Bailey sign. <laughs> Sorry to our sponsors. Your time out? No, we haven't. Sub Johan Timmers. Just uh, oh, taking the captain off. Keeper Rihari, this is one of the few times he's gone off. Interesting. So, so Joseph uh, Charles, come on now, number three. I haven't seen that for a while. Netana is serving on the opposite side. Oh, again, the quick works. It's a bit soft, but it does push through. Might be just a bit of fatigue there for Cuba Rihari. He's he's played a lot oh, over the last uh, four days. Just getting a rest. He had to take a dive then as well. Just needs that little bit of a rest to keep going. It's the shot. There we go. Regan <laughs> Wilson showing them what they can do. <laughs> Here's the replay. Look at this. Been coming out of it. There we go. Okay, to Henry Fulton, serving now in the back. Pulls it over the net. And there we go. Tauranga hyped up. And really, people sensing possible upset. We've got a timeout. You can see Johan Tim is like, come on, get off, everybody. Let's get ready. We'll do a team talk. And Tauranga boys, they have that advantage. Seven point advantage. They're up by two sets to one. Well, can this be the upset? Kyle, you feeling the upset? Yeah, or are you feeling a comeback? I'm feeling Ooh, I don't want to say out loud out of my Go on. Engari Koitera. Back on both teams. Some of the Rangatoto supporters at the back of the court there. But in the meantime, in the uh, foreground, it is the Rangatoto in the maroon colours. They've still got their captain off. Uh, Rihari, he's over with the subs. No, he's been told get back on there. Or get back and sit down. Beautiful setup from the serve. There you go, off the block, managed to pull through. Yeah, that's the one they want. That'll give them a little bit more confidence. It's just one point. Double figures, and Rihari's back on. You notice that? <laughs> Timmer, really... the coach, said get on. <laughs> the respect that he has from the players, you can see it as he walks on. There you go. Even, even our girls here on the sideline and our younger boy team, the lower division teams, showing the respect they have for the Hardy oh, there. They got that over? And there was a carry? Yes, it yeah, 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 it's a good, bizarre sort of point. Yeah, good way to bring the Hardy in. Two from this one since they've come back on. And everything seems a bit more intense, a bit more rushed, perhaps. Set up. Here we go. Over the block, picks it up, Rihari will have the next say. Breaks through, Netana has it. Regan will hit with it. Side, tips it over, but Netana's ready. They're going back to Regan Wilson. Oh. And now we'll do it. <laughs> Give it a big effort trying to pull it in. The trust they have in Rihari, their captain, Rangi Toto is phenomenal. You can definitely yeah. see it. He brought back a different energy to the side of the court. And I think a bit of reassurance. Aye. Yeah, calmness and saying, okay, guys, it's all good. They had to probably take him off for a few minutes. He was probably just feeling fatigued. He uh, dived around a couple of times. Four points the difference now. Two sets to one to uh, Tolono College. Serve. It's on our back. Doesn't connect, unfortunately. There you go. It only took them to take it. Well, the timing wasn't quite there this time. 
we go. A lot of noise from our only football and our crowd. Three points of difference now. They've cut it back. It's out to seven. Rodiola. Take their time. There we go. Oh, Dylan. Oh, what a power on that. Here it is. <laughs> Beautiful. This is still a secondary school sport. But gee, there's some absolute immense power. Now, who's coming in with the serve here? It is Mr. Tavalu Jr. Yeah. Oh. oh it's, it's, it's all right. The team comes up and says, it's all right. Make him feel bad. That's uh, not something you want. Tough shot. 18 at 13. Five points difference and seven points away from victory. See the crowd right on the court. Oh. We'll pick it up. Trusting his teammates here. They will manage. Ah, scrambling play everywhere. Dylan will tip it. Oh. oh my goodness. What had happened there? Set of third, number 13 just hooked at Perks. Just hooked it around. Oh my god. He had his big net above the net yeah. and just headed it down. He created his own net in that moment. Yeah. Wow. Bring Keeps him in it. Bring in Mr. Stevenson here. See that? This, it was just a big pour up there and he just battered it down. <laughs> Nets on the outside. Dylan breaks through, but they managed to pick it up. Moody order. Watch out for Wilson up the other side, looking for a box. There it is. Number 16. There he is. Number 15, I from Noah. Yeah. Oh, that's great play. That is an important point. Stitches it out to five, takes him to 19. Maybe we're going to 25. Got to win by two. If you get him to the fifth set, well, it's 15. Got to win by two. And what are we looking at here? The substitutes. Stevenson coming off. Libero's back in. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at the boys. Pumped up. Megan Wilson. He could walk through walls right now. Totally pumped up. Wilson with the serve. And they've made it to 20. Taolonga. Oh, yeah. Where's the comeback coming from Rangatoto? Can they do it? Forster. Oh, yeah. It's in. Is it in? Yes, it is. Yes. Look at Taolonga up to 21. They're ready with the eh? It's becoming so intense. Though with a seven point lead, how is it that I still feel that Rangi Four needed. Can the heart is off. Bring it. It's Regan Wilson. With a big serve. Goes off to the side. Setting it up. And there we go, Mr. Schmidt. <laughs> oh my gosh. He Will went for it. Schmidt went for that big shot, and it came off. Good Joseph day. Cha comes on, <laughs> hasn't spent much time on at all, and here, serve for to keep us in. It's good serve. So, I think you got Heading over the block, there he is, showing. Throwing himself on the ground. Gonna build this point, where's it going? Right. Regan Wilson. Put it over the block. It is a bit long. Manages to pull it off. Dylan. Oh, there we go. Three points now. <laughs> Hauranga boys. They're feeling confident. Just got to settle. Dylan Griffiths with the serve. Number four for Tauranga boys. This is the New Zealand Secondary Schools Championship. The Division One boys final. Up against Rangatoto College, defending champions. Well done, beautiful way of picking that up, giving it out back, hitting off the block. <laughs> and Those players there. flying everywhere. And it is one more point to Rangatoto, 16. Six points the difference. Whew. Logan Vorster, the serve. As he tries to take a bit of a breather. In fact, they don't mind a slow wipe of the court yeah well it's outside of the playing area yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> everything was deliberate and slow you can see there oh here over here as well yeah <laughs> which <laughs> the second ref saying okay we are at the fare yeah, how do we do right now? 
Right. Uh, TBC, I don't know what they're chatting. Uh, I think it's supporting Tatonga. Hold on up, boys. College TBC. There it is. Wonderfully picked up, oh. and. And that's how it's before Rangi. Take one back. Five points away from Tauranga boys in INA. Oh, we're Tauwe. Send it up. Oh. There we go. Oh. Dylan from a pipe. Nobody ought to die at the Kahoki or Tauwa Patsi the portal. Dylan Griffiths goes up. And a big shot. Very big shot indeed. Very. Siloni. That will get Tauranga boys at our game point there it is. at this Match moment point. in time. Uh, we'll get ready for this. So there's Noah Sigliwani to serve at set point. Match point. Two sets to one. Let's get ready now. Sigliwani takes the serve. Number 15. Tauranga boys takes it over. It's put up. Here it is. The, oh. No. no oh, that will be it. It's giving it Tauranga to the oh, yeah. I thought that was going to be it for a second. Holding their breath there. I had me holding my breath, the whole stadium in silence. Dylan Schmidt to take the serve. 18-24 down. Lang of Taylor College, the defending champions, it clips over the net. This. That oh, they've will done be it. our game. It is. It's a joy of mine. I know. We're going to be out of my day. We're the Kaumarima, Tauranga Boys College, with three sets. Rangi Toto, the Kaumawaru, with the one. Tauranga boys 25 points with two sets, Rangi Toto 18 points with one, and that will be it for this game. Owe Tokiriye at the Motu Farmi, Tauranga boys college. A huge shot from the junior Tavalu. He just launched himself up there, hung in the air, had the shot straight down the middle, and that is the total. That is the title, the Division 1 boys title to Tauranga boys. Ranga Toto defending champions. Uh, beaten in four sets. The full score, it was 25-20, and then 22-25, then 23, make that 25-23 in the fourth and half third, 25-18. <laughs> so many sets, it seems, over these last five days. And you can see the Rangatoto girls out there already to, well, commiserate with their boys. The girls won in four, but the boys going down in four sets to... Tauranga boys, that was superb final, exciting. You heard the chanting, you had the big crowd there as well. And uh, tough stuff there for Johan Timmer as the coach, but also for the captain as well. That's Cuba Vihari. Uh, congratulations, uh, the boys there, Tauranga boys. Well, fantastic stuff. And for you, Pakaiha, a few thoughts on how Tauranga actually managed to take it. Was there anything in particular that just came through? I te whakātsura, a tauranga, i te kaha, i te honunga hoki o tō rātou tīma, showing a lot, and I mean a lot, of power, a lot of, you know, connection there with their team, a lot of chemistry being shown on the courts throughout the entire game, really. A little bit of mistakes, but they will manage to push through either way. Again, here they are with three points, or three sets, sorry, and Rangitoto with the one. Was there anything that Rangitoto could have done differently? It, was it just that the combination and the teamwork of uh, Tauranga today was just too good? Uh, kia whakaaro, my thoughts on this would be that Omato Tane Kirangi uh, Toto didn't manage to give away a few points at the beginning of our matches and then slowly making a comeback later on. If they kept that, if they didn't keep that consistency, I'm oh, sorry, sorry, if they managed to keep the consistency throughout the whole game slash set, then I definitely would have seen them taking back the title yet again. Alright, Pakaya Short, really do appreciate your time over the last few days and uh, with this commentary. And uh, thank you very much to everybody behind the scenes as well. I'm going to say thank you and good night, and we'll see you again in next year.